Why, hello there. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Whatever time it is for you, thank you so much for joining me and welcome to tonight's stream. It's, uh, it's Pokemon time. <gasps> hello, everybody. It's Pokemon time. It's, uh, we're gonna, we're hopefully gonna get that shiny Eevee. Hopefully. Hopefully, I say, as I've got, like, a lot of eggs. I've been farming up the eggs to be able to have a nice long stream of just egg hatching. Um, yeah, it's time to shiny our Eevee. Alright, time to pop over here. Hello, 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 hello. It's me! And, uh, we are ready for some Pokemon. Um, as you can see, I already have our first batch of Eevees ready for hatching, ready to go in our party. But I wanted to show you guys the pure amount of Eevees that I currently have. Um, so all these eggs are Eevees, 100% Eevees. Uh, here's the Japanese ditto that I've been using to breed the Eevees. Um, and uh, so we've got... Yeah, the answer is not enough. So each of these rows is five. So we've got about... 11. No, this is 15. So we've got 15 Eevees right here. And then are you ready? Because one, two, three, four, five? Yeah. Oh no, it's six. It's six on the sides. Six on the bottom, five on the sides. Um, so this is actually 18 eggs. And each box is 30. So we have 30. 60, 90, 120, 150. <laughs> we have 168, 69, 70, 71, 72. 172 Eevee eggs to hatch. That is 172 chances tonight for an Eevee. Um, will we get our Eevee? I sincerely hope. Oh, you could get shrewdles all the way back here. So, um... Hopefully there will be Eevees. I, you know... That is too loud. Um, as always, I I hope, and I hope, and I pray, and I, I go, you know, shiny Eevee gods, give me a shiny Eevee, but... We are at the mercy of RNG, which sometimes does not play well with me. I'm sorry, is that a traitor that I haven't fought? That is a traitor I haven't fought on Route 1. Well, I'm not finding them now because I will absolutely destroy them and then I will feel bad. All right. Our cities and we're just gonna run around, fly around, chat about things as we hatch our Eevees. Destroy them for their keywords. Hey, all they did was, um, Oh, that's a cute little Azumarill. Uh, all they did was exist. Their only crime was existing. I feel you there. <laughs> They're not taunting me. They're just existing. Uh, all right. Last time we also did, um, we did some um, getting of the like special legendaries that you have to get all of their um um all of their nice little um stakes that's the word i was looking for stakes um we got two out of the four. Oh my god I... well little wingle you're level four and i'm level 32 goodbye um Yep, the stakes are for legendaries. Um. <gasps> Hello, Luis. Thank you so much for becoming a Melorosanian. We are now one Melorosanian away from um, 400, I believe? Or is it 300? It's 300. It's 300. I would be way more... Way more freaked out if it was 400. Hello! It's 300. I somehow added a whole hundred more Melrosenians. 
100 non-existent people. But yes, hello, hello. The first Eevee of the night. The first Eevee of the night. Welcome to the pink void. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Eevees. If the first Eevee of the night was shiny, I think I would set the I, I would set my controller down and I would have to walk away. <laughs> oh, well, thank you so much for following me on Ticket to Takata. Yeah, come claim, come claim your toe bean stamp. We have a lot of fun stuff with your uh, Melorosia coins. Um, ah, thank you. How am I already almost out of my water? I literally thought I filled this up before stream. I must not have. <laughs> I must have filled it up much earlier than that. But interesting. <sighs> All right, we got more giddy ghouls. I'm not slacking on my wawa. I am, I am uh, one hydrated bitch. Oh, it's another Eevee time. Welcome back to the pink void. Nah. Look. I drink a lot of water simply because I put it next to me. And I am the type of person who uh, will just stim by put, like chewing on things. And so this has a straw and I will just put the straw in my mouth. And then I'm like, oh, a straw. I should, I should drink. And then I drink water. So I tricked myself into drinking more water. <laughs> I didn't actually want to give it a nickname. Uh... I can't actually chew this straw. I should really get straws that I can chew, but. All right, level three. G goodbye. What color was that, Buizel? That was an interesting colored Buizel. Might have just been underneath. Yay. Oh, you know what I keep forgetting to do? I got a so in. We had like a fucking. We were like a fucking well oiled machine. <laughs> Bling! Yeah. We've got a. Uh, we've got a few sing redeems. We've got two, I think. We've got two. We've got the. Regular old sing redeem. Yeah, we've got the regular old sing redeem, which is just I'll sing about something that's happening. And then we have the cover redeem, which is. Big. <laughs> Pling. That has been, oh, excuse me, that has been redeemed a total of three times? Four times. Four times, because it was Phantom was the first, and then it was Zedoum, and then it was Zetetica, and then it was Holly. Yeah, four times. And I probably will end up making it larger. I've been debating against it because I really like my four fours, but I think I'm gonna have to add a zero. I think I'm I think I'm gonna have to make it. I think I'm gonna have to make it bigger. <laughs> Aww. Aww, well I hope stream can help you feel better, Wolf. Yeah, sing covers, uh sing covers. You don't fight for the fucking sing covers. Cause it's only one a month. Once it's been claimed, once it's been redeemed... <laughs> no. Yes, no. Mostly because... Ooh, that sounds yummy. Mostly because I'm still... I am about to give up on trying to get this Harmony Guide. And I don't want to give up on the Harmony Guide. But I think I'm gonna have to give up on the Harmony Guide. Um, and it sucks because... Um, I don't want to give up on the Harmony Guide. I really want to get it, but I don't even know where the fuck I would go to get it <laughs> anymore. Um, yes, all of these eggs are Eevees. I have 172 eggs was what we counted. 172 eggs for tonight. Um, they are all bred with a Japanese ditto, so hopefully that ups our odds considering that we hatched like what? Another 170 something eggs last time. This is this is try number two. This is stream number two. Hello. Uh <laughs> Whoa! Um 
I am planning to get a shiny Eevee and then trade the rest of them. <laughs> um. Um. So that was part of the thing that we did. <laughs> I feel you. Oh my god. It was 102 yesterday. And it is currently... With the humidity index, 99. <laughs> Grody! I hate it. I hate it. It's only supposed to get hotter. It's literally only supposed to get hotter. Look. <laughs> I've never been able to fix it! I tried! I tried fixing Otomyotan, but Otomyotan refuses to be fixed. I literally am um, like, there's so many things that I'm trying. Oh God. Ugh. I, I, I feel for everyone who is also stuck in. Yeah, at least it hasn't gone backwards. At least it hasn't said, you know, at least it isn't. Wolf has given negative one subs. Like, that would just be weird. Oh, okay. This egg is hatching underwater, but all right. We, we, we cool. We got this. I also have been trying to get the, um... I've been trying to get the top 10 Tobin stamps. <laughs> I really have been trying to get the top 10 Tobin stamps thing to work. Twi Twitch is also borked on your stats. That is now the second place that you've been borked. Uh, which sucks. I wish you weren't borked. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah, it really just doesn't like you for some reason. Um. But, uh, yeah, I haven't been able to get the top ten, um, because it, I don't, <laughs> I don't know why it's like this. Also, I do love that that's that that stream element still has a hold on that. How am I hatching these eggs so fast? Uh, I have a flame body uh, Fletchender. My Fletchender has flame body, which uh, as a passive ability, it has a has a passive ability. The ability flame body has a passive effect. That's the word I was looking for. Effect has a passive effect of making eggs faster to hatch. Um, that Fletchender is the entire reason that is that this uh, section ha is anything better is not you know five thousand hours long, <laughs> and we still streamed for four hours last time. I think it was four. It was four or five hours last time, just to hatch all those eggs. But yeah. Fletchender sits on the eggs. I just shoved new eggs under Fletchender. Yeah. Yeah, this tonight I have 172 eggs. It's a lot of eggs. I spent quite a few days uh, just sitting with my Switch uh, running. Oh, I didn't even know there was a Pokemon. Um, I just sat with my Switch running in the background with a... Uh, Oh, that's a, uh, that's a shelter. I was like, what the fuck is that Pokemon? It's a shelter, Prince. This is not Pokemon Fusion. I don't have to worry about seeing terrifying, horrifying freaks of nature. Um. Yeah, I was having sandwich parties and I was. Oh my God, you're tiny. One of those Houndour, Houndours is tiny. Yeah, cat rat. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I, I sat, uh, sat quite a few days with my Switch running with a, a picnic going. And the, uh, my Sylveon that I named after myself. And the Japanese Ditto, and I was just constantly making sandwiches. You know, this is how I know TikTok cucked me. Um, I hate that that's become just a normal phrase that I use. <laughs> I really hate that that's become a normal phrase I use. Uh, but that's how I know that TikTok, I am like, so 
suppressed by the TikTok algorithm, my low punny TikTok. I posted my low punny TikTok, and I know from watching Sino's TikToks that low punny, low punny fucking makes people go insane. People go insane for low punny. Um, the low punny. What the fuck are you doing under there? Oh, egg. <laughs> um, but my low punny TikTok did not get any more than my usual. Any more than my usual views in the in the mid two hundreds. So I was like, well, I'm being suppressed. Fun, fun, fun. But eh, whatever. It is what it is. Also, hello, Shelter. That's Cloister. Exact wrong Pokemon. I love that I don't even really know what that is, but I, I have a feeling that it's some sort of sexy, sexy dance. Oh? Time to enter the pink void again. The pink birth void. I don't like those words together. You know, it might be. I just live under a rock. <laughs> I live under a rock as I catch up on very old games. <laughs> I, ju I just finished playing... Um... <laughs> Grody. Um, I just finished playing Diabolic Lover's Dark Fate. Ragey's Root. Um, so that, and that game came out in whenever the fuck ever. Not recently, that's for sure. It's on the fucking Vita. <laughs> um. Hey! Hey! Oh, wow, I didn't even, okay, I didn't even see that. I didn't even see that there was a Pokemon there. Oh, wait, fuck. Oh, wait, fuck. You're a higher level than me. Oh, wait, fuck. Oh, wait, fuck. <laughs> Let's leave. Let's leave. Let's leave. Bye-bye. Yeah, I cannot escape from this barely visible... God fucking bless it. Yeah, it's like a weird tadpole. Oh, my God. Everything wants to beat up my goddamn Pokemon. <gasps> Please. I beg of thee, let me leave. Oh, well, we're entering the birth void again. Oh, I know. Yeah, Fletch Henderson wants to fucking die. Maybe I shouldn't just be going wherever they... No! Why would you do that to me? Why would you make me talking only oh, cutesy ways? That's going to make me talking about Reiji's room like really fucking weird. <laughs> <laughs> You're just gonna get cutesy voice. Yeah, cursing and cutesy voice. Why am I just traveling in high-level water-infested seas? Good fucking question. I don't know. I'm lost. <laughs> I'm just... I just chose the direction and I went. Um, but yeah. I finished Deity's Root, which was a lot of fun. I liked it. Uh, Diabolic Lovers is not a game that you would think. I would say I was... I was like kicking my I was kicking my feet and squealing like a schoolgirl. Um and but uh Dark Fate Dark Fate had me kicking my legs and squealing like a schoolgirl. I was I was oh well we're back in the fucking birth void. <laughs> no! <laughs> uh so, they do and they don't. So, like, the first game only has the Sakamaki brothers, but the second game introduces the Mukami brothers, and then there's a third... Then there's the third game, which is kind of just, like, fun shits and giggles game. Um, no real, like, plot plot, just kind of like, we're at a carnival, yay! And then the fourth game, which is the one that I just finished playing, Dark Fate, that introduces two new characters. So... We are now at... We're now at 12. 12. <laughs> We're now at 12 love interests. Um... And then, um... And then there's the... Yes! 
Then there's the fifth game, which is another, like, fun, we're at a carnival game. And then there's the sixth game, which is the final one, where they introduce Kino. And I know jack shit about Kino. I literally don't know anything about Kino, because I haven't gotten to that game yet. Um, I am almost done with, uh, the first game. I've almost done all... Ah, shit, I'm about to fucking die. I just also realized I forgot to set a timer. Um, he likes guava juice. That's actually kind of adorable. <laughs> like, he looks like he's, he looks like a little fucker, but <laughs> he likes guava juice, so it can't be all that bad. I know. Oh, okay, thank you. Oh, it's raining now. Julio's. Bye bye. Ah, bless you. It's terrible. He's both a little fucker and likes lava juice. <laughs> uh, but yes, um... Okay, timer so we get spooked, Prince. I've had guava, but it was always with something else. Oh, I love looking at my phone and I get the TikTok notification. Um, 1995 Chevrolet Tahoe. <laughs> Commented on your TikTok! <laughs> Thank you, car. Um, but yes, I actually have had guava, but it was with strawberry. It was like a strawberry guava. I think it was a pink guava. I don't know. Yeah, I have some... There's some really funny names in TikTok. Um, maybe one of these days I will just read the funny names of TikTok. Um, why... Where am I going? I need to timer. You know what? Not three hours. No, 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 three hours. We're gonna, just gonna do three minutes. And I'll give you a little extra bit of time there, Wolf, because I don't fucking know what I'm doing. Yeah, you don't have to. <laughs> For some reason, I fucking popped off on TikTok despite being, like, very clearly suppressed. Yeah, you... Well, you guys got the fucking idol cover. I released that Wednesday, which is two days ago. I don't know what day it is anymore. I've spent the past... I've spent all of this week... <laughs> um, I've spent all of this past week doing bookkeeping, and, um... I don't fucking even know what day it is anymore. Yeah! Yeah! It is! It's up. It's up. I'm actually pretty proud of it. It's not all that bad. Oh, no. I'm just... I'm just hyper shit today. I am extremely... I have not had a drop of alcohol. I was about to say I don't have alcohol in my house, and then I remember... No, I do, actually. Except it's, um... It's the sake that I got for my 21st birthday that I don't like. So it's just, a like, a full-ass bottle of sake sitting in my pantry-ish. Um... Yeah. That's... that's it for me, too. I mean, well, I have friends who are into it, so I've kind of been like... <laughs> yeah? Yeah, you cook for me, uh, and I'll give you my sake. <laughs> this sounds like a... this sounds like a wonderful trade. <laughs> um... But yeah, um, I've seen a little bit about the show, but mostly it's just from my friends who like it. And they, um, talk about it consistently. And I don't have anything, um, spoiler tagged. I, I, I cause I don't care, so... <laughs> yeah, it's about idols and I know, I know the mom dies. That's it. And there's like... The mangaka went on a vacation, and he left the manga off at a really weird spot, apparently, where someone was like, man, you know, everybody who's interested in the... Hi, Phantom! Yeah, we're talking about Oshinoko. Yeah, the main idol, she dies. That's, that's like the whole big... Oh. <laughs> I was about to say, that's like the whole main... Uh... 
big twist on the first episode, and then I realized I just, I just, just, just straight up said the big twist of the first episode. Whoops! Urasai, <laughs> oh. Look. The problems about not caring about certain things is sometimes you forget that other people do. <laughs> and you're like, oh shit, oh wait, sorry. <laughs> it literally happens in the first episode! Like... It's what- it's like a main plot point! It's the, like, inciting action! Sorry! <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I I'm just like I'm not super I'm I I've, I've said this before. I'm not a huge fan of psychological shows ex <laughs> despite the fact that I consistently watch them when I'm like completely blitzed out of my mind with a fever. <laughs> ah, yeah, you're good. Um well, let's see, because the, the two cycle- I've talked about this before. I know I have. Also, I'm glad to hear that, Pudding. I, like... I'm so happy- I'm happy to hear that you're feeling better. Um, but, uh, the two psychological shows that I've watched when I was completely, um, like, out of it with a fever, I really should not have been watching psychological shows. Um, I watched, uh, Mushishi? A little bit of Mushishi. I did not watch the whole thing of Mushishi, but, um... And I want to watch the whole thing of Mushishi, just, like, not when I'm, like, delirious from a fever. Aha! Uh, well, like, psychological in that, like, they really make you think they're the kind of dark shows. Um. Like, yeah, that kind of stuff. Um, but I also watched, uh, Monogatari? No. Mononoke. Incorrect Mono Prince. Uh, Mononoke, which I love, honestly. I forgot I got this one. That's where the fucking disgusting slug was. Yeah? It's good. It's like, it's this guy who can see spirits. No. No, not the, not the Ghibli movie. The, um, the anime. Why do I try to think with Fevered Applesauce Brain? I don't fucking know. Fevered Applesauce Brain Prince is, uh, like a mystery. I don't know what he's thinking. How am I with you two little nudity? Um... I would prefer if things were, like, clothed. I don't want to risk a toss. I mean... If it's like they're in underwear for, like, a, a half a second, it's alright. Why did I let him do it? But, um... I watched... This is gonna bother me. It is called Mononoke, right? It is called Mononoke, right? Mononoke. Yes, Mononoke the anime. With sudden violence. Okay. I've talked about it. I've talked about doing one in... It's it's still a maybe, but Phantom, Phantom is prepping. Yeah. I love it. I love the medicine seller. That shouldn't surprise anybody that that, that man went straight on the husband list. Did I not? Did I just now literally remember a husband that I forgot to put on the husband list? I think I did. Well then. <laughs> I don't know why we're surprised. <laughs> I don't think anybody should be surprised. Yeah, husband of the past. He's been uh, he's been unearthed. Husband of the past. That was like two years ago. Yeah, the list is constantly growing and constantly being updated as I forget people and remember people. <laughs> I did not leave him in a corner to rot. He was probably off gallivanting and killing yokai. Um, but yeah, Mononoke is another psychological show that I watched, uh, while blitzed out of my brain with a fever. Um, it's a great show. I highly recommend it. Probably not the best show to be watching while you're on a the- while you have a fever, as it is extremely surreal, uh, psychological, um, and just, uh, Prince. That is not how that works. Um... And 
kind of dark. Kind of dark, I say. It deals with a lot of really dark, heavy subjects. Um, and if you're not prepared for that, it will take you by surprise. Um, but also, the other show that I watched, the other uh, psychological show that I watched while I was uh, absolutely blitzed out of my brain was... Um, Oh, I ha I've already caught a Basculin. Sorry, little Basculins. I thought I hadn't caught a Basculin. Apparently I had. Oh. Welcome to the Birth Void. Um. Is, uh, Ron Pokitan Game of Lapis, which is based off of, um, Edogawa Rampo's works. Um, which, if you don't know who Edogawa, Edogawa Rampo is, he is a mystery author... Uh, mystery and uh, eroguro author, um, Japanese author. Uh, I don't remember when he lived. I think it was like the 18, 18s. It might have been the eighteen hundreds or the seventeen. I think it was eighteen hundreds. I think it was eighteen hundreds, or it might have been early nineteens. I don't remember exactly. Um, but he uh, was a gay man who wrote horror mysteries. Um, and just was a really interesting person with a really interesting mind that came up with some really fucked up shit. Um, so, like... Okay, I was correct on both counts. How amazing. Um... But yeah, I really like his work. Uh, I have a friend who's super obsessed with his work. Um... And I like his stuff. Um, and I was like, oh, it's it's based off of Rompo. I can I can watch. I just forgot there's a fucking Eevee in my <sighs> Look. My brain is like going at 70,000 miles an hour. I spent like the past however many fucking hours literally naming files. Like, I... It was boring. <laughs> it was boring, and I am off the walls ADHD right now. Um... But, um... Yeah. Rampo Kitan Game of Blacklist. Again, psychological horror, horror, um, mystery. Uh, I really should not have been watching it. Yeah. Yeah, he's super popular. Um... And, um, but yeah, again, should not have been watching Game of Lapalus, uh, as it has, there's, like, some really fucked up shit that happens in that game that, like, I still vividly remember because it had me going, what the fuck? Um, but yeah, I mean, he's an Edoguro writer. It's kind of to be expected. There's body horror, there's, you know... Murder, there's cannibalism, there's... Yep! Yeah, a catchy. Not today, no. Um, yeah, a catchy is one of his characters. So is, uh, Kobayashi. Well, Kobayashi, I say, that's not a normal name. Um, but Kobayashi, the boy detective, is one of his characters. Akechi, the, the, de the detective, is one of his characters. Uh, 20 Faces, that kind of, like, uh, it's a, that kind of, um, like, crowdsourced, um, vigilante justice. Um, that's also from one of his stuff. Um, again! Cool, cool anime. I believe not. I actually haven't played uh, Persona 5, but like half of it's been spoiled for me, so. Um, but yes. Again, Rampo Katan gave a flapless. Very cool anime. I enjoyed it despite being fevered out of my brain. Um, and. Um. However, really must warn you that if you are not good with like gore and um, horror and really heavy topics such as abuse and um, non-consensual acts. Um, <laughs> yeah, he's pretty cute. 
uh, I would not recommend um, his. I would not recommend that anime. But um, but I did enjoy it. Again, there will be one scene that is forever in, in seared into my mind because of how absolutely fucked up it was. Yeah. Um, just like, just like how I will always talk about that one scene from the fanfic about the guy eating the eyeball that has stuck to me. Um, <laughs> that has stuck with me for years. Like, I will probably be thinking about that on my deathbed. I'll be on my deathbed and be like, man, do you remember, like, how many fucking years ago I read that story where a guy ate an eyeball? Like, like this, it, it's just part of the prince lore at this point. Um. Wait, like, Griffith Berserk? The only thing I know about Griffith Griffith Berserk is that he's um he's a pretty boy, he's also a fucker, and um he non-consensually uh does some stuff to a lady in front of her lover. I thought that that's what I've seen people call him. I don't know if it's true at all. He looks effeminate, but I don't know if he counts as a femme boy. So yeah, my small knowledge of Berserk is that I will not be reading it. <laughs> yeah, half of my knowledge about a lot of popular stuff simply comes from the fact that I have absorbed people talking about it. <laughs> I've seen someone talk about it or I read a thread about it and I'm like, huh. you know, I feel like that's... We've discussed this before. What decides if you're a femboy? Um... I don't know. Prince, me? <gasps> me? I'm the Femboy Authority? Aww, guys! <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, actually, I feel like I kind of need to apologize this mission, because I am fucking balls to the wall energy right now. Um, like, I was not expecting to be so energetic, because I was like, eh, today's been blech. Today's been gluck, yucky, boring. And I guess my brain was like, all right, you know what that means? Stream's gonna be fun. So, uh, I am like the absolute top. Is it? Happy day to me's. Happy day to me's. I get two whole fucking, uh, I get two whole fucking pride months and then like multiple days. Hell yeah. Wait, what? Oh, egg! <laughs> oh, egg! Yes, princess, the whole reason you're playing this today is egg. Yeah! Every day is prince day. Oh, I forgot! They're, like, reformed now. How did I forget I had more EVs? Maybe I shouldn't ask that question, because the answer is pretty obvious. I've lost my brain. Alrighties. Get some more uh, eggs. There we go. Honestly? I'd say right now we're on like a 10 out of 10 on the Prince Energy scale. Like, I am fucking rip raring to go. Like, there is no stopping this train. Um. And, which also means. <laughs> which also means that I have a 10 out of 10 on ADHD scale and I am just bouncing. I'm just bouncing around like a goddamn rubber ball. All right, no, no nicknames for the Eevee. The only Eevee that is gonna get a nickname is my shiny baby. And I still haven't even decided what that nickname will be. Yeah, yeah, but I also keep my house uh, pretty cold. So, like literally, literally this morning I woke up shivering and I was like, oh shit, am I sick? 
Cause like I haven't been feeling amazing this whole week and I was like, no, please don't tell me I'm sick. And so I like literally, I have my thermometer next to my bed. Um, I just keep it there. Um, and so I reached out to grab my thermometer and I was like, well, I'll figure it out. Um, I was not sick in the slightest. I didn't have a fever at all. Um, I, um, I was just cold. <laughs> oh. Oh, well then. Yeah, you know what? Maybe Gr maybe Griffith is a fucker. I think that gets you, like, firmly in the fucker territory. And not, like, good. Not, like, where I go, you fucker. Like, like, fondly? No, that's, like, a you fucker. Speaking of you fucker fondly... That was not the correct words for a segue, but you know what? It works. <laughs> um... What Pokemon was that? Oh, whatever. Um, I got back into playing New Carnival. <laughs> my friend was like, oh, have you played the new... My friend, I say it was Holly. <laughs> Holly was like, oh, hey, have you played the new uh, New Carnival event? And I was like, oh, no, I haven't. I'm, like, way behind. I haven't touched New Car... I hadn't, like, touched New Carnival in, like, a couple months. Um... And Holly was like, you should, you should do the new carnival event because there's Kuya. And I was like, well, maybe so. <laughs> hmm. Um, so I've gotten back into new carnival. Once again, the person that I'm going, you fucker, fondly to is Kuya. Because this man is fucking wild. This man is wild. And he's also really sad. And I'm not certain how I feel about seeing my... Yeah, it's pretty great. I think we're actually... They're hinting to um, new... So the two first characters that you meet are called uh, Morve and Aster. Um, and they are your, like, familiars. They're your... You basically, like, they're the first characters you get. They're the first characters you meet. Um, they're the first characters you have an R18 scene with. Um... And et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. They're pretty good characters. I like them very much. Um, this entire time, they have not gotten a single updated outfit. Like they don't, they are S, they are SR cards and SR cards only. They do not have an SSR card. Yeah, New Carnival's an R18 game. <laughs> um, but. Um, so they are hinting now that there might be SSRs for, um, no, it's not really sketchy. It's not sketchy at all. You just have to play it through browser if you're on an iPhone. If you're, if you're, uh, if you're Android, they actually do have an app for it. <laughs> well, it is a gotcha game. It just has hot and sexy men. And, yeah. Oh, yeah, I just played through browser. I haven't, like, you can, yeah. You could do sketchy stuff to get it as an app app, but I, I don't. I just play through browser. Um, because I'm like, I don't have time for that. Um, but, so, this, <laughs> yeah. hey, look. That's, why, why did you, what, did you guys not, did you not wonder at all how I knew on, how I put, why I put on Kuya's slide that he has a, a canon, like, desire to create children? <laughs> like, I realized I should put the, I should put the sexual talk warning back on. I took it off because I was like, we're playing Pokemon, it's fine. I should know. Oh, it's not fine. <laughs> Prince, put the sexual content warning back on. All right, cool. Yeah, Kuya has a canon um, breeding interest. <laughs> true. <laughs> true. <laughs> you know, true. Um, that too. That too. 
Um, but no, like he, he canonically, like canonically you do things with all the characters. Um, and I think they just introduced a new character, which I'm, I'm, I'm met on. Um, but then again, he's a bottom, so but literally we just end up with the, and they were both bottoms meme. Um, and he's just like, he's interesting. I haven't like met him yet. Cause I'm fucking stuck on one of the goddamn story missions. <laughs> um, the game is really actually kind of difficult. <laughs> it's actually like kind of difficult. <laughs> no, the the main sadly no, the main character is very much a switch, um, and is literally just down for what the fuck ever. Um, but the um. Our tops are Kuya, Yakumo, New Carnival Stream, when? Um, <laughs> New Carnival Stream, uh, never, because I think I would absolutely get <laughs> fucking banned. I can talk about New Carnival, but I don't think I can play it. Yeah, damn you, Twitch. Uh, but yes, so our tops are Yakumo, who is a snake demon. Um, Kuya, who is our, our foxy boy, my lovely kitsune boy. Uh, then we have our other top is... Quincy? I was like, <laughs> what's his name? Quincy. Um, who is a sleepy uh, forest immortal. Um, and he has a weasel friend, um, named Topper. I love Topper. Topper is precious. Shit, that's a Pokemon. Okay, blow it. I already have that Pokemon. Um, and then the other top is Blade, who is an, uh, he is a robot. Um, he's a, well, specifically they call him an E-Droid, which is interesting. Topper is the name of the ferret, yes. <laughs> yeah. The implications of, of Kuya bridal carrying me in a in a in a bride's dress, in a, in a wedding dress. The, the implications that, that me and this man have done filthy things together. Cause like canonically, yeah. Okay, I have to find a picture of Topper because just just describing Topper is. Look, I said I was fucking hyper as shit. <laughs> Incredible Topper. Okay. Yeah, that too. But for people who don't want to go through links, let me find Topper. What the fuck did it save it as? This is what I get for not saving images as like with actual names and just whatever the fuck they come up with. Cause then I have shit like this. Can I just get just PNG files? Yeah, he really is. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Ace doesn't mean I've never done it. It just means that I don't have you know, I'm not like, must, must do it more. This is Topper. Topper's a precious little thing. Topper loves grilled meat, which is adorable. I love Topper. Topper's precious. <laughs> um, so, so there is one, um, there is a, uh, <laughs> A, um... There was a, 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 April Fools, that's the word I'm looking for. Um, there is a, there was an April Fools. No, it's called Father. <laughs> it's called Father. Uh, there was an April Fools, uh, topper. I believe this is the official one. <laughs> um. So, yeah. 
<laughs> um, ah, birds! Um, but yeah, so, and then, yeah, so Blade, Quincy, Kuya, and Yakumo are our tops. Uh, the bottoms include, um, Edmund, who is the Sundade Knight Captain. Oh, I forgot Dante! Holy shit, Dante is also a top. I have, I have not... Shows you how much I remember Dante, unfortunately. Um, but Dante's cool. I like Dante. I just haven't seen a bunch of him. He's also extremely, he's arrogant in a way different than Kuya. Which I'm like, I'm used to Kuya's arrogance. So Dante's arrogance is like, it's different. It's different. It's not my, it's not my foxy boy. <laughs> um, but then for the bottoms, we have Edmund, who is the Sunday Night Captain. We have, um, what the fuck's his name? Olivine, uh, who is a priest. So do with that information as you will. Um, yeah, Olivine's a priest. And then there's Ray, who is a bottom, I think. Oh, uh, I think that's it. Oh, and then Morve and Aster are kind of switchy bottoms, from what I remember. Um. True! We did know this from Fire Emblem. Not even priests can, uh... Yeah. Quincy has nice tits, yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah, Dante... Well, that's because that's Dante's current uh, event outfit. Yeah, Olivine, Olivine has the mommy milkers. Um, as is constantly played up. Um... Olivine's tits are ridiculous. Olivine also is like, like covered in piercings ish. Um, in that it's like part of his. They're part of his like gem. So he, um. Oh. Egg. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, the current event is Kuya, Dante, and Edmund. So two tops and a bottom. Um, and perhaps Aster and Morve too. I'm uncertain. Um, I think, I believe it's them because, well, I won't know until the uh, new uh, thing opens up, which is in a couple days. <laughs> the second half of the event. Yeah, Morve's ex extreme. Um, but yeah, the Kuya, the Kuya, um, <laughs> oh, <Avery. laughs> hello, 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 Raiders, <laughs> what a lovely time to come in. <laughs> Thank you so much for stopping by. I am Prince, the third Prince of the Melorosia Kingdom. I am a variety streamer who likes cute things and cute boys. Hiya! I usually play Otomes and story heavy games like story heavy games like visual novels, Otomes, and RPGs, but tonight we are playing Pokemon as I am trying to fulfill one of my subathon goals, which is getting a um shiny Eevee. Yep! <laughs> so I know <laughs> You can't double raid me right when I'm talking about New Carnival! Hello, Raiders again! <laughs> hello, Raiders, hello! <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for stopping by! <laughs> I'm Prince, third Prince of the Belarusian Kingdom! I'm a variety streamer who likes cute things and cute boys! <laughs> You're good. <laughs> I usually play. <laughs> I usually play story heavy games like <laughs> visual novels and otomes. Visual novels, otomes, and RPGs. But tonight, 
we are playing Pokemon is I'm trying to get a shiny Eevee for the second time to fulfill a subathon uh, goal. <laughs> All right. Ironically, you guys just uh, just came in as we were talking about New Carnival. <laughs> Which is a, um... An R18 BLK! <laughs> also, I am at, like, fucking hyper levels of energy tonight, so I am... I am all over the place. Tonight it is... it is ADHD supreme. Look! Look! They... they gave me a new Kuya card! They... they... did new Kuya! They, they gave me my fox husband again. I'm gonna have to grab this Kuya sprite because you guys do not even understand how lovely, how many Red Bulls? Zero. I actually have had no, um, I've had no uh, caffeine, alcohol. Um, I have had sugar. No. Fuck you. <laughs> Uh, where is his new outfit? Why can I not? You know what? I may not be able to get it in. Oh, safe. <laughs> safe search blurring is on. It says, no, thank you. I'm good. Uh, there we go. Can we not see what he looks like? <laughs> we are not doing another, uh... We are not doing another, um... Another Omegaverse lecture just yet. I can do one later, but, uh... I can't do that one! I can't do that one! That one is a little too, um... You want Omegaverse lecture? I... What? Literally, I'm gonna have to go to the goddamn official Twitter. Or I could actually probably just go to my Twitter likes. I probably have liked something related to this man recently. Yeah, the Aromantic Exotica version. Yeah, Omegaverse is extremely vast, and I will need to do, um... I will need to, like, legit prepare... A goddamn, um, whatchamacallit, um, uh, like, lesson plan. I'll need to make a whole ass lesson plan. Okay. I can't show off fan art. It has to be, well, please... Okay, we all, yeah, PowerPoint slides. We all know that this man. <laughs> yeah, there is. I wasn't expecting that, but, um, let's, okay, we all know. I have told you guys this game is R18. This game is R18, so please keep that in mind when I show you the picture. The picture is not R18. The, the picture is not R18. You do not have to worry. There is not going to be, like, anything bad uh, coming up on screen. You just... You may not want to be looking at this in public, though. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you do you. Um, look at this man. Look at this man. He's fucking hot. You're not you're not allowed to think lewd thoughts about this man. Well, I'm going to jail if I'm not allowed to think of lewd thoughts. This man. Oh, uh, he's so hot. It's not even funny. HD and horny degeneracy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This like this man's hot. I love him so much. I love him so much. And like, yeah, people were freaking out about Tozies, and I was like, yeah, whatever. 
I'm I'm more interested in everything that is going on in his chest area and his face. And his hands. I like his hands. I like everything about this man. <laughs> well, I, how do you want me to respond to that? <laughs> but yes, that so that's our new carnival. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yes, I love Kuya. I love Kuya a lot. Um, Kuya possibly number one husband? He's like a, like a prime contender for the number one husband spot. I mean, he's literally, like, when I was getting ready to do the husband stream, he's the first one that I thought of. I was like, I cannot forget Kuya. Um, it really is an honor. Um, I was gonna say I would like to think he would be honored, and then I was like, yeah, he probably wouldn't, but... <laughs> He probably would think it would... You know, I don't even know. But I'm gonna live in my uh, delusionary day daydreams and be like, Yeah, no, this man loves me. I'm married to him. <laughs> so yes. If you are asking yourself, Prince, how hyper are you? The answer is yes. Yeah, you have. <laughs> that is still my, uh... That is still my, uh, my phone background. My nose is so itchy. My phone background, since I got that... <laughs> since I got that, uh, art... Has been Kuya. I am excited to see when the to, for when the uh, for when the uh, Sephiroth art comes in. I'm excited to see what what that's gonna be like. We still have about half a month before the deadline approaches. So the deadline is. Did I? Okay, I have all eggs. You know what I can do. Is I can float, fly around while I am, uh... Uh, 8, 6. So, August... August 6th is the deadline. So, for Skeb, uh, which is where I've commissioned... Where I commissioned the Sephiroth art piece, if the work is not done by a certain period of time, uh, you get refunded the money. So... If the work is not done after, uh, before August 6th, 7th, um, I will get the money back and I will, I can try again or commission a different artist. Um, no. Nope. It's so that artists don't take on a bunch of stuff and then never do it. <laughs> um, so... They can, um, they can request that you, like, resend. Like, if they're almost done and they, like, run out of time, they can, the artist can, like, request, send you, the commissioner, a request and be like, hey, can you send this again? Um, but, yeah. So, like, I'm not, I don't have any worries. I trust Sensei. Um. But, yeah. <sighs> okay, get my eggs. How many boxes of eggs? Uh, quite a few. I mean, I counted up 172 actual, like, individual eggs. Uh, so I have one, two, three, four, f four, five, and a half. <laughs> Siren songs. Mm. 
But yes. Lots, lot, oh. lots of stuff going on. <sighs> Alrighty. It's time to switch out. More Eevees. Yeah, the deerling was like, what's this? And I was like, this is the miracle of Eevee. Well, it would help if I put a new one in. It's really cute how the wild Pokemon interact with you in this game. Excuse me. Like, like they're just chilling. No. Like what kind of like what what kind of things on the wheel? <sighs> itches. But then again, my allergies have been kicking my ass this week. <sighs> allergies have been kicking my ass, and I've been handling client paperwork. I don't want to get the EV, but I have been handling so much client paperwork. I. Hmm. I'll think about it. I usually try to do things that I'm excited for so that my excitement like carries through to you guys. Because, you know. Ugh. I want to suffer while I'm doing it. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, I can go put, I can go like put a, a, like a fingertip of citric acid. I can go grab the bottle or like tub, whatever you want to call it. Go grab the container. <laughs> yeah, that's not a, not really punishment. <gasps> Hello, guest girl. Thank you so much for becoming a member of the The tax prints. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it was not seductive. <laughs> but wait, wait. That means we're now officially 300 and five. Wait. We've surpassed 300! Yippa! Which means we're only three followers away from having more followers on Twitch than I do on Twitter. Yippa! Yeah, oh wait, no, four. Wait, we're 31 and we have to get to 35. That's four, yes, Prince, good, good math. I've been doing so much math. God bless it. <laughs> just, just, just point out that I need to take that out. <laughs> no! <laughs> Don't be rude. Don't be rude. Yes, you may use your, you may use your Melorosignon. Coins to uh to bonk each other. Hey, hey. <laughs> it is that or the sub shotgun. Yeah, you either get bonk it or you get hit with the sub shotgun. Why am I back here? I just realized that I've just been going in random directions and I have uh, probably gone in circles. There we go, okay. Oh, I'm not trying to go anywhere, but... Interesting. You know what? I'm gonna go up to the mountain. I wanna go up to the mountain. That's not where I wanted to go. Lork. Lork. Let's go here. No, I haven't. <laughs> 
debating doing that, but uh, I just realized how long it's gonna take to hatch all 172 eggs. And I am slightly fearing for my life. Come on. Come on. Yeah, the seals do take a while. I am two down. I do have half of them. Half of the Pokemon. Um. Whoa, big bear. Bear, bear, bear. Alright. Hello? Oh yeah, get your toe bean stamps, everybody! As Pudding calls it, the Great Toe Bean Stamp War. You guys don't even know what I'm gonna use them for. Yeah! All I can say is that the toe bean stamps... Somebody's gonna get something. Somebody's gonna get something. True! You like toe beans, and you like making me happy by being at stream. Okay, we're back in the birth void. Hey, I seem to have lost my social security number. Can I have yours? <laughs> toe beans? Yeah, well, the toe beans are a competition. <laughs> Ish, kind of. Wait, who the fuck are you? Huh. Oh, oh. Well. Eevee. Not a good idea to be here. Yeah, I can't get away. Ooh. Okay, we got away. I actually, uh, we actually just dealt with somebody's identity theft. What the fuck? Oh, puppy. puppy. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, it ended up not being actual identity theft, thankfully, so... <laughs> like, they were happy! Did you? Did you? Did you? Did you? Okay, wait! No, no, it was, a, uh, It was a case of address fuckery. The IRS talks to the post office. Um. But yes, wolf, 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 wolf. I n So, Atomi Alton may not be working, but Stream Elements fucking is. You have gifted 35 subs in chat so far. I don't know why it works. It works perfectly well in Stream Elements, but Atomi Alton. No, uh, uh. -uh. Oh my god. Why is my nose itching so bad? Do I- I do not want to put my, um, whatchamafuck call it? Cort- cort- cortisone. I don't want to put cortisone lotion on my nose. That stuff stinks like nobody's fucking business. Like, it- it, it reeks. Um. <laughs> yeah. I do not want to have to put that on my nose. <laughs> You're good. I mean, you're preaching to the choir here. I work with social security numbers every day of my life. Well, every day of my- every day of work. 
But we have also seen some people who just royally don't understand and screw themselves over, and I'm like, mm, mm, sorry. If you win. Thank you. Like, it's like literally that my, my nose itches, which means probably not a great thing, but... I hope it doesn't mean what I think it means. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for head pies. Oh, also, I do have to tell you guys. Um. <laughs> oh, good. Uh, so I got one of the musicals that I've been, um, like, obsessed with recently. I ordered it. Um, except I didn't, I misread, and what I didn't, what I got was, um, oh, yeah, what I got was not actually the, like, play and musical, but the soundtrack CD. Not upset, I mean, I got, I, I, I I'm glad to have it. <laughs> I am not broke. And I only bought one. Hmm, three. <laughs> Wait, three. Um. Yeah. And I actually need to. Oh, I could put it in my car. I can put it in my car! I just realized. First, I, however, need to get an actual CD. Put one on throw in the musicals? I can't. I have to buy them off like eBay. And stuff. I have to buy them off of eBay and Mandrake. So. And Throne doesn't work with those. Throne doesn't work with secondhand stores. I can put gift cards on there, I think. I think I can put gift cards on there. I don't know why I did that. I think I can put like Visa gift cards on there. Which I feel is a little silly. But I guess it does put the processing fees on you guys. If you want. Or you can just straight don't know if you wish. <laughs> Though that, that does put the processing fees on my side. Okay, I'll put a few up. <laughs> yeah, I think it's just who takes... Yeah, who, who takes the processing fees? Because like with the... Yeah, with Throne, you guys pay the the fees and stuff, like ship, like Throne fees. But if you do a dono, then I pay the fees, which I guess is an interesting way of circumventing that. I was looking into um, I had been looking into Fan House recently, which I thought was really interesting as like a possible other thing that you guys could do. Uh, except Fan House has gone into the shitter recently, so, um, didn't... Glad I was just researching and not didn't do anything yet. <laughs> it's not, it's not fraud, it just, it, it literally isn't fraud, it just, it just flips who's paying for the fee. The, the fee still gets paid. <laughs> the, the fee still gets paid, therefore... Twitch doesn't get a cut of my donos anyway. My donos don't go through Twitch. Point up. Yeah. Um. Twitch gets bits? But, like, then it's the same thing because you pay the, like, processing fees for Twitch. <laughs> I am sometimes a non-practicing intellectual. Yeah. Yeah, and then I have to wait for Twitch to process, which I've given up guessing when Twitch processes my payouts. I've, I've given up. <laughs> I was like, I didn't think I was gonna get a payout this month. And then my bank was like, hey, you got a payout. And I was like, from what? <laughs> I mean, like, I'm not gonna say no, they do the math, but definitely did... 
take me a second. Because so I was like, huh? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. And you don't... I feel like I'm... I feel like a fucking broken record saying this. You do not have to give at all. At all. If you never give me a single cent, I still appreciate you. Ah. Next subathon will be birthday, though. If you, if you wish to plan or do things, it will be birthday. It will be my birthday again. Next year. I'll turn 26. That's a wild number. <laughs> yeah, it only costs 100 Melorosia coins to give head pats. And you earn those just by watching. <laughs> uh oh. Oi, oi, oi. Um, please let me leave. Hey, low kicks, please let me leave! I don't wanna. Oh, yeah, there we go, good. Yeah. Yeah, and they're like, like, like they, and they announced it via a tweet. They didn't announce it to all their creators beforehand, they just announced it via a tweet. Um, which a lot of people were understandably upset by. <laughs> That's wild. It's wild to think I'm gotten that far. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. I don't want to give the Eevee a nickname, I promise. <laughs> Game, I'm sorry, I keep hitting it. Yeah. Ain't that wild? Ain't that wild? Ain't that wild? I was talking to my uh, Earth dad. Because I actually just recently reconnected with one of my good friends from uh, high school. <laughs> Aww, is it so cool? I will happily sweep you into a dustpan and carry you around as needed. <laughs> you know, that is true. Oh god, yeah. I mean, I told you, I, I told you guys that I like, I, <laughs> in high school, I got like a really deadly disease, right? <laughs> I think I've talked about that before, that I had like a really bad disease. I have it. How many eggs have we opened? A lot. <laughs> A lot. No, no. Uh, yeah. Oof. Um, yeah. Mine came from school too. Let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Seventeen plus twenty-nine. Uh... 46 eggs, currently. But yeah, no, in high school, um, I caught MRSA. Um, which, if you don't know what MRSA is, that is, a uh, bacterial-resistant staph. Um, yeah. How did I get MRSA? Um... <laughs> you guys are gonna get a little a little bit of prince lore here. Um No, actually at school. Um I'm pretty certain it was at school because I was in dance that year and um I had undiagnosed um psoriasis in my ear canals. Um which I didn't know, so I was constantly itching. And, um, I was walking around with open wounds in my ears. Um. So, that's how I caught MRSA. Um, and, in yes, inside of my ear canal. Um, 
yeah, no, it's 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 really rough. Um, I have to consistently take care of it or I can uh, potentially go uh, deaf for not like full deaf, but like it can get bad enough to where it will block my ability to hear. Um, so I have to constantly be on top of that. What? I could have sworn there was an apple. There was an apple over here. I don't know where it was, but I could have sworn there was an apple. But yes, um, so I was walking around school, um, not knowing, with, with open wounds in my ears. <laughs> yeah, exactly! I, I very much pride, uh, prize, or... I like, I like being able to hear. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I was walking to school, I had open wounds in my ears, I was in dance class, I was in a gym, um... And suddenly, I started getting really bad pains in my side. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I started getting really horrible pains in my side, like, to where I couldn't- I didn't want to move at all because it hurt so bad. Um, and so... Uh... I mean, they- they cleaned. <laughs> I don't know. Um... I was a little- I was a little more concerned with not dying. Um, <laughs> yeah. um, but, so yeah, I had really horrible pains in my side, and, um, yeah, oh yeah, no, it's horrible, I, I, I don't like having it at all, um, which also was another thing, they thought I had psoriatic arthritis for a little bit, um, yeah, yeah, so, um, um, I, we went to the doctor because I was in horrible, horrible pain. And um, when the doctor was like, you know, where on your side are you getting these pains? And, you know, I showed I showed the doctor and the doctor was like, that's where your liver is. And I was like, oh, cool. What does that mean? Um, and like my liver was like double its size or something because the MRSA was attacking my liver. Um, so. I had MRSA inside my body, which is a 20 to 30 percent mortality rate, I think, if I remember correctly, from the panic, panic uh, googling I did after I, after I got over it. Um, but yeah, so uh, I spent like uh, really, really hard drugs. Um, like, really hard antibiotics. It's like a, it's like a rigorous regiment of extremely strong antibiotics. It sucked. Um, but yeah, they had to let the entire school district know. Yeah. Like, crazy strong antibiotics. Um, followed up by, um, like, stuff, the, um, like, probiotic stuff, because really strong antibiotics absolutely wreck your body's natural immune system. Um, yeah. Um, I have no idea what they did, because I was completely at home feeling like shit. Um, uh, all I know is I also had to be quarantined from my family. Uh, everyone I had been in contact with had to be told so they could quarantine. Um, it was like a whole shebang, and honestly, I don't remember that much about it. Yeah, exactly! Like, it's- a, it's it! It's wild that it exists! Um, so for that, you know, everybody... Yeah. Um, remember to take all of your antibiotics as prescribed. Um, and don't share antibiotics. Only take them as you're supposed to. If nothing else, <laughs> for the fact that I lived. Um, but yeah, so I... Like, I know my, my Earth mom was fucking terrified when they got the call. Yeah. Um, nobody else caught it. Nobody else caught it. Yeah, don't bind with bandages and remember to take your full course antibiotics. <laughs> Just prince things. <laughs> um, but yes. So. But yeah, I survived. 
Um, I honestly don't remember much about that school year because that was also my sophomore year in high school. And I... That was my last year in physical high school. Oh, because it fucks up your ribs. Do not bind with bandages. They do not have the correct um, give in the right areas. Uh, and you can absolutely fuck up your ribs. Um, like, it's, it's documented that if you bind with bandages for long enough, you, you will... You will literally warp your rib cage. Not with bandages. I do have a binder. I haven't worn it in a while. Because I don't go anywhere. <laughs> um. <laughs> not, not your whole cage. Not the whole cage. But yeah, so. Yeah, fun print stories. I, I had MRSA. Um, and have psoriasis, which fucking sucks. <laughs> yeah. Um. But yes, so, also, the, um, the psoriasis thing also, so, <laughs> psoriasis got me, un undiagnosed psoriasis got me fucking MRSA. Um, but also, it got me, um, it's a skin condition. Um, it's a really not fun skin condition where it's an autoimmune disorder, basically. Um, where your body basically kind of goes into fucking overdrive with skin and making skin and, um, dealing with cuts and stuff. Um, and it is, uh, it's, it's not fun. Um, if you want to look it up, I would recommend maybe not looking at pictures if you are, if you are easily, um, grossed out. No, it doesn't, it doesn't go away. Ever. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah, the immune system is a fuck. I don't, like, my immune system and I have a love-hate relationship. Like, yes, thank you, I survived MRSA. Also, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> um, but yes, uh, psoriasis also has an unfortunate, uh, thing that can happen in which it can begin to attack your joints. Um, and it can turn into a degenerative joint, uh, problem. And, um... <laughs> See, yeah. <laughs> I wish I didn't have it inside my fucking ears. <laughs> That's why I have to laugh every time I get, like, the, you know, doctors recommend don't put Q-tips inside your ears. I'm like, unfortunately for me, they gave me the, the opposite advice. Yeah. Um, very common places are the scalp. Scalp, eyebrows, um, yeah, armpits. Uh, if you have breasts under the breasts, um, except that's a very special type of psoriasis usually in those kind of fold areas, uh, which is, like, horrible. And I hate it. I don't have it, thankfully, but yeah. Um... But yeah, every when I got diagnosed, they were like, hey, you have to use topical steroid medicine for the rest of your life every time this flares. And I was like, cool, what what you know, what triggers the flares? And they're like, oh, stress. I'm like, oh, cool, thanks. <laughs> oh, yay. Um, so <laughs> um, but they're like, and because it's in your ears, uh basically. You're like, they're like, here's this lotion. You have to put this lotion inside your ears. Yeah. And I was like, oh. Yay? How the fuck am I supposed to do that? I'm not gonna just like squish lotion in my ears. Especially because you have to like rub it into the skin. And they're like, oh no, you're gonna want to use like a Q-tip. And I'm like, okay, put a Q-tip all the way inside my ears. Okay. That is what the doctors told me. <laughs> um. But yes. Um, yeah, oh my god. Uh, but psoriasis, as I said, can turn into a degenerative. If you have the specific version of it, it can turn into a degenerative uh, joint, a la uh, psoriatic arthritis. Um, 
and when I was in, so basically, if you get diagnosed with psoriasis after like three to four to five years, your their whoever your doctor is supposed to check with you if you have joint pain. Um, and if you have joint pain, you're supposed to immediately get checked out for psoriatic arthritis. Yeah. Ooh, oh god, I hate... Yeah. Shingles is a fucker. Shingles is a fucker. I don't have shingles, thankfully, but people in my- people in my Earth family do. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, so after three to five years of having psoriasis, or, you know, being officially diagnosed with psoriasis, you're supposed to uh, be checked over for joint pain. Um, and I was doing one of my regular, you know, go see a dermatologist. Hi, yes, I, I need a refilled med prescription. Um, and they're like, do you have joint pain? And I was like, funny you ask. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I was like, funny you ask, I do a lot. Uh, and that was basically what set off me getting uh, diagnosed with fibromyalgia is because uh, they were really worried that I had a degenerative joint disease um, from my psoriasis. And um, I didn't, thankfully. I mean, it's still something that could pop up at any moment. like. At any moment, my psoriasis could turn to my joints. And that's just something I'm going to have to live with. Um, but thankfully, currently, don't have to deal with it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like, oh, fun. Thank you. Thank you. As someone who has it, thank you. Um, yeah, that's, yeah. So that's part of the reason why I use a cane. Um, and like, cause like I can do, cause my, my fibro is mostly in my hips and my knees. Um, and like, I was, I mean, in, in college, I was walking like three miles a day. Uh, I did a lot of fucking walking in college cause I lived on campus and I walked everywhere. Yeah. You should, you should rip. <laughs> Atabi, I thought you wanted to fuck a desk, so. <laughs> um, but yeah, so my fibro is usually in my knees and my hips. Uh, and my shoulders, too. Uh, but yeah, I had to get a whole, I got like a full body, like multiple x-rays when I was getting tested. Um, cause they, you know, they put you through every fucking ringer in the sun to figure out what it is. Cause fibromyalgia is a, everything else is normal disease, basically. Um. <laughs> a fucking deck? It was like, oh yeah, you want to fuck a deck. I, desk. That was, that one's me. Um. Yeah. Um, uh, but... Yeah, so I use my cane. Um, I was walking three miles a day in college. You would think people are like, oh, exercise helps. No, exercise fucking sucked. I hated walking so much. I would get home and my knees would hurt so badly. Um, like, I would get home from like three miles of walking for the day, going to all my classes and stuff. And um, I would have what I have lovingly referred to, lovingly I say with air, air quotes, uh, referred to as uh, screwdriver knees, uh, where it feels like someone's trying to pry my joint apart with a screwdriver. Um, and it was hell. Um, so. Yeah. Yeah. And when you're not, it's like, <laughs> Um, but yeah, fun, 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 fun uh, for the prince. Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, thankfully I have a little like stationary bike thing. It's just the pedals, um, but I'll watch a show. I'll be watching a show and just 
kind of do my little pedal so I'm still like moving. Uh, and so far, as long as I don't go crazy, as long as I don't go like crazy hard on it, I that it doesn't seem to flare me up that bad. But yeah, I uh, didn't was not was like like this is the first time that I'm like saying this stuff on stream because I was like, well, like you know, it doesn't have to be not something that you know talk about a ton but I do talk about being disabled so and like how that affects my ability to stream and my stream lengths and my yeah um I want to try swimming again I haven't swam in years um I also kind of want to try roller ro like roller skating again but I don't know if I could roller skate yeah I don't know if I can pick up roller skating again uh I guess I'd have to see um, I mean, <laughs> to be fair, the last time I roller skated, I ended up with a broken shoulder. So <laughs> I think it's a little, uh, I think it's a little understandable that I'm wary about it. Yeah, I loved roller skating, but then again, I was in like fourth grade and it basically was like being at a rave. Because, like, I was roller skating to, like, every time we touch, um, Umbrella by Rihanna, um, Hamster Dance, yeah. Like, crazy shit. <laughs> um, li little, little Prince was, was grooving out. Yeah. Yeah, I will. Okay, so here's the thing. I never rollerbladed. There is a difference. There is a difference between roller skating and rollerblading. Roller skating, as far as I'm aware, is when you have four wheels in a square pattern. Um, so, like, you are more solid on the ground. You're not balancing on, like, rollerblade, which is a line of wheels. I've never rollerbladed because I don't have great balance. So <laughs> that's just asking for a problem. Uh, but I've roller skated. Ugh. Oh my god, why is my nose so itchy? Yeah. Yeah, so I've never rollerbladed. Yeah. Yeah, roller skating was so much fun. Honestly, if someone created, if there was like a local roller skate rink that had like, um, like throwback nights or something where like they would just play the stuff they played in like the early 2000s, I would fucking go. I would fucking go. Yeah? I wouldn't trust myself. <laughs> I wouldn't trust my sense of balance. Ah, none of my friends I knew could rollerblade. No, I take that back. I, I did know a couple people who rollerbladed to school, which I thought was the weirdest way to go to school. I think it would be, I think it would be fucking fun to own a roller skating rink. I think it'd be fun. Ooh, what the hell is Crystal Palace? That sounds awesome. Um, but then again, I kind of like roller skate. I like the I like the vibe of a roller skating rink. Yeah, I don't think Healy's count. Yeah, Healy's. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, I just realized that I've like really, like the energy has gone. <laughs> Maybe that's what I needed though. I shouldn't be this hyped up till late at night. It's raining in the desert. Oh. Huh. 
interesting. I mean, I can bring Kuya up again. I can just talk about Kuya. <laughs> yeah, it would be great. Yeah. Yeah, I never, like, went super fast, but I definitely did go pretty fast around some of those curves. But that was, like, that was exhilarating. Oh my god. Literally, why does my nose always start itching when I strain? It's gotta be something. Do I just have, like... I think I just, I think I have eggs in the thing. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Sorry, my, my brain was just like, my brain was doing that thing where it was like, oh no. I got like really vulnerable on stream talking about all my uh, health issues. And I was like, wait, it's fucking Disability Pride Month! I'm vulnerable talking about my gender on in Pride Month and not outside of Pride Month, <laughs> to be fair. I can be vulnerable talking about my disability. I don't need... Oh, no. Lily, <laughs> <laughs> no, sadly not. <laughs> yeah, and a megaverse stuff. Sadly, fanfiction did not help me realize I was disabled. There actually is a, um, very few, like, fanfiction with, um, with disabled characters in it, or even, like, touching on disability. It was pretty fun. It was pretty fun. I enjoy I enjoy sharing all of my crazy stuff with you guys. Oh, oh, uh, well, birth void. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's also the unfortunate, uh, there's the trope of, um, like, magic fixed it and stuff like that, which is because, unfortunately, because the disability community is so, so vast and different, and, like, there's people like me who were kind of born disabled, but also not born disabled, and then there are people who were born disabled and there are people who weren't born disabled and became disabled later in life and all of us have different end goals and wish and wishes and things and sometimes our end goals can cross and and really not mesh well um like some people especially if they became disabled a lot of them do wish for like cure stuff and a lot of people who were born disabled just are just like nah this is how i am i don't want to be cured and so there's a lot of like inner community like sometimes we don't see eye to eye on stuff um so getting something like it's getting something that is good representation is it's you're you're gonna it's gonna be hit or miss because you're gonna hit certain parts and not hit others yeah yeah, I've, uh, I've, con I considered if I was, I was like, I mean, I was like, if my, yeah, I was like, if I get, like, there's a, there, if I got psoriatic arthritis, if I get psoriatic arthritis, um, 
there's entirely a possibility that I could be, you know, I would need a wheelchair to get around. Um, and there are some times where uh, just walking a lot of places. I mean, I used a I used a motorized scooter in the um, at the zoo for my birthday because it was the best way so that I could fully enjoy the experience without having to worry about my pain levels. Oh my god, that Voltorb is exploding. That Voltorb exploded. It just went, the beauty of life! And then exploded. Amazing. Um, but like, I have no hang up with using a wheelchair if I have to. It's, it's literally an assistive device. The goal is to assist. So... Well, I know there are people who are like, I never, like, if I never want to, people who become disabled who are like, I never want to have to use a wheelchair. I'm like, if I have to, that's, that's what I need then. But then again, I, I realize, I've realized that I have a very laissez-faire, uh, laissez-faire approach to quite a lot of things that a lot of people have some very, like, strong opinions about, where I'm like, does it really matter? Apparently, you know, to some people, yes. To me, eh, not really. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and there's a lot of, like... I mean... There's a lot of ableism, and a lot of, like, internalized ableism, too. So, like, people who need it might be like, well, I don't... I don't... I don't really need it, but no, you really do. And so they will unfortunately because of internalized ableism, suffer. And I mean, I've... I mean, I've had quite... I've had a couple years to come to thought of this and, like, what it means for my life and all that stuff. And, like... I mean, it just is. Which feels like a weird thing to say when it's, like, such a huge part of my life, but it, I mean, it just is. <laughs> Whatever it's gonna be is what it's gonna be. I have no, like, assumptions or expectations. Because <laughs> I just, you, you never know. You know, in whatever 10, 20, 30 years. Exactly, yeah. And, like, there's literally no changing this. I, uh... I did try. They were like, hey, there's this medicine that helps with, like... It's a antidepressant that's supposed to, um... Yeah. There's an antidepressant that's supposed to help with, um... Like, fibromyalgia symptoms. And I was like... The, the person I was seeing for my medicine at the time... Uh, they're like, do you want to try it? And I was like, I mean, sure, I'll try it. Like, do I want to be in pain every day of my life? No, that would be, it would be nice to not. Oh, well, what do you know? <laughs> Hi there. Um. Mm. So I gave it a shot. I hated it. I hated it. It. I, I couldn't read. I couldn't read on that medicine. So I was like, well, not for me. No, correct. We were not even looking for that. I didn't even know I could find that here. But yeah, so. And like. Nope. I, uh, I lost my ability to, um. Yeah. Uh, I couldn't process words. Um, I, I was trying to read. Uh, I when I started when I started the medicine I went um, and I stayed with my parents um, with my earth parents because my earth mom was like as a family sometimes we don't react well to medicines like that's just part of my family history um, and yeah I have honestly no idea what that medicine did to me but I hated it <laughs> yeah no it was uh, it was absolutely wild 
But yeah, so I stayed with my Earth parents because my Earth mom was like... Or I don't... I have no idea what it did to me. I couldn't read the word um, helicopter. I was trying I was trying to read the word helicopter and I was just like, hell, hell, hell. Um, but yeah, so I stayed with my parents because my Earth mom was like, look, is that level 50? Oh, I'm fucked. Yep. I'm fucked. Well, oh well. <laughs> oh well, what happens? I dropped 38 dollars. Oh my god. Um. Um, but, but yeah, save my Earth parents because my Earth mom was like, medicine does weird shit to us. Um, I want to be here if I want you to be with us in case anything goes wrong. Um, well, what do you know? It went wrong. Um, and yeah, yeah, my, my Earth mom is pretty good about medical stuff at times. She's good about some things about medical stuff and not good about other things with medical stuff because she's not a fan of medical stuff. Um, where the hell am I? I don't even know where the fuck I was. I don't, really don't know where the fuck I was, actually. Literally just getting lost in hatching eggs and chatting. This is like a half just chatting stream. Um, but yeah, as soon as... Uh... Oh! Interesting. Ah. That, I didn't know that. Very interesting. Um, but yeah. I also, the medicine also made me extremely sleepy. Uh, like, I slept. I was supposed to, I sat on my Earth Mom's bed. I was, like, helping her look at... She just isn't good with a lot of medical stuff because she has her own medical things that she is not, like, she doesn't like doctors. Understandable. Um, and like she, she's not she's like, she's okay with like vomit, but like anything to do with like feet or teeth freaks her out. <laughs> she, and if I'm like, look, I like any time when I like when I lost teeth as a kid, she couldn't do it. She was like, you have to go. Do you have to go to your father for that? I was like, okay. So I just. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so, um, yes, I was supposed to be helping her, like, set up some outfits or something in her closet. Uh, I sat down on her bed and I passed out, like, pretty much. I was, like, dead asleep within, like, five minutes, which doesn't happen for me. I was completely awake. Uh, it was, like, three in the afternoon. I had slept completely fine the day be the night before and I was fast asleep for like four hours. Um, and that was when my Earth mom was like, I don't think this is a good idea. I don't think this medicine is a good idea. And I went, yeah, you know, I don't think so either. Oh yeah, emetophobia. I, I haven't vomited in years, to be fair. Um, and like, I know to just hold my nose. Yeah. Sympathetic pukers. Life must suck. <laughs> yeah. I've never gotten to the vomiting stage of drinking alcohol. But then again, I've never been extremely intoxicated. But yeah, crazy, crazy shit. How the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Afterwards. Afterwards, I went back to that doctor and I was like, yeah, no, this ain't working. Um.
I got back on my normal meds. But yeah, if I, um, I haven't been around puking people recently. I don't know, actually know if I'm a sympathetic puker. I know the smell can make me puke, but I don't know if, um, yeah. I mean, I've done it. Yeah, I've done it both med medicated and unmedicated, and I'm kind of half and half right now. But... Yeah, I don't think I've puked in a while. Like, literal years. Like, I haven't puked since pre-high school, maybe? Like, I, I apparently have a pretty strong tummy. Strong tummy. Like, I didn't puke. Eh, when I had COVID, I didn't puke. Shockingly enough. Yeah. <gasps> yeah? I'm glad that the motion sickness bracelets helped. They are my lifeline. I have like three pairs in my house. <laughs> I also am... Whoops. Yeah. I, uh, I accidentally cold turkeyed my meds <laughs> uh, quite a couple times. <laughs> um, but then again, ADHD changes as you get older because your hormones change and <laughs> everything, every, you suddenly you have to figure out how to do things completely differently. Uh, Neither. Just forgot to take them. <laughs> um. Yeah, yeah, my yeah, my hormones certainly have changed. Also, fucking ADHD plus. Um. Yeah, whoopsies. This was also my senior year of high school, and I was a little too... There was a little... Not senior year of high school, sorry. My senior year of college. And there was a little too much going on in my life at that moment. Uh, I had my final senior project. I had uh, moving out. I had graduating. Uh, I had preparing for my final senior project. And all of the... Um, and that whole uh, presentation to do... Like, there was just so much going on in my life. See, okay, so I'm not on stimulants. I haven't been on stimulants ever. Uh, I got on non-stimulant meds from the very moment I was, I was uh, diagnosed. And have been on non-stimulants the rest of my life. But yeah, I, I feel bad for everybody whose meds are affected. Like, honestly. That would fucking suck. Uh... Well, um, depends on who you ask. So, A, you cannot get them. Uh, or B, um, they're not the same meds. Uh, some people have been reporting... Yeah. Uh, some people have been reporting that they're get they they've been getting the meds. Um, but when they take med tests, uh, it doesn't show up that, that any of the medicine is in their system. It's wild. Yeah, I... Yeah, so either they're just not available, or they're... Different. Um, yeah, you can't. Getting stimulant prescriptions is fucking horrible. Yeah, I... We used to have a... Yeah. 
We used to have a, um, someone in my family used to have, a, they were on a triplicate, which is a controlled substance medicine. Basically, it's called a triplicate because you have to f fill out like three fucking forms before you get it. And it is so annoying. Ah, you're good, Wolf. I completely understand. Yep. Yep, that was, uh, that was my family member. Had to go to the doctor every time to get a paper script and had to uh, deliver the paper script to the pharmacy because they do not, they did not allow electronic um, requests. Yeah. Oh, I feel here. Oh my god, how many Eevees have we fucking. Yeah. Oh my god, we still have one, two, three, three. Yeah. All right. We're almost halfway through the Eevees. Wild and crazy, wild and crazy. But I do have a, I believe it's the Masada method. All these eggs are Masada method. If I'm remembering the name right. The ditto is uh, Japanese. I mean, worse comes to worse. I'm completely fine with doing more of these streams and just chatting with you guys as we had GVs. Like I, I am, th these are not any sort of horrible like thing for me. They're basically a just chatting plus. Uh, but it does take a little bit to prep them. Yeah, Eevee hatching and chill. But yeah, I don't remember. Did I tell you guys that I got two new canes for my birthday? When I was out to the zoo, um, I was also visiting some Earth family and uh, I got two new canes. And I'm very, they're very pretty. I'm very happy with them. Yeah, just chatting all of mine's tits. Ah. <laughs> yeah, my love for Kuya. <laughs> oh, egg. Um, not as much as I probably should. I keep I keep defaulting back to my usual game. <laughs> Despite the fact that I probably need to be like weeding it into not as much use because it's definitely old. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I probably should be uh, weaning my old cane into backup use, but I am too used to grabbing it. I have a, I basically, where I put my keys in the morning, uh, or in the afternoon, when I come back from, when I come home from work, um, I have a little mirror with some pegs set up where I put my keys, and also where I hang up my cane. Um, and I have not... I haven't changed which canes are hanging up. It's just my normal cane and then um, my like weather cane, which I need. I haven't been using my weather cane because A, there hasn't been much weather that I've had to walk through. Um, well, it's weather and off-road cane. Um, I haven't had much weather I've had to walk through and I have not been off-roading. Um, but also, I need to change the handle. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Louise. It has a three-prong... Um... It has a three-prong base. So, like, it's not just one point. Um, it's got multiple points on the bottom of contact. Um, so it ha it's more stable. Um, so, like, 
in college, I would use it when it was raining um, because cane plus wet floor is basically just asking to slip. Uh, and I actually have had two or three tumbles in the rain where uh, my cane slid out from under me and I went falling. Um, Altered College. There is not actually a toe bean. There is not a toe bean stamp uh, in emote, but there is a toe bean stamp uh, redeem. Yeah. I don't know if that's actually what they're called. That's just what I call them. <laughs> just what I call mine. Uh, but I actually need to completely redo the grip on it because it actually hurts my hand. It was like, this is an ergonomic grip. And I'm like, that sounds great. And now I'm like, for whose fucking hand? This is the most un, un like, horrible cane. Um. <laughs> Toe bean sticker? Uh. Oh yeah, there is a there's like a paw print emoji. Um Hold on. Hold peas. Hold peas. I think I can actually do that. If I just go over here to the rewards and emotes. You guys will lose access to the Prince Peach. I'm gonna put that on bits. Oh! Something went wrong. Okay, I can't change my emotes while I'm streaming? That's annoying. Okay, there we go. There we go. And then open slot. I actually did make a Tobin thing. Where are, is it? Where did, what did I put it under? Is it under badges? No. Why would I put it under badges? Prints, icons, and banners. That's why it's under Tobin stamp. Image is not square shaped. There we go. Alright, there we go. If you refresh... If you refresh, you should uh, be able to have the Prince Tobin sticker! Now we have Prince Tobin stamp. Do, 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 do. I'm refreshing my own page. It literally is the exact same icon as the Tobin stamp. Yeah! Tobin stamp! Pew! Uh -huh. <laughs> oh yeah, Wolf still has access to Prince Peach. <laughs> Cause Prince Peach is in the uh 1k 1k bits tier, which I believe has how many people in it? There's three people who can use Prince Peach. <laughs> The toe beans, they're taking over! All these Eevees and all their toe beans. <laughs> nah, you're good. I'm never gonna be upset with you for being excited about a thing I, I have on stream. Like, that would literally be the antithesis of what I want. I want you to be excited. I want you to be happy to use the emotes. Like, that's what they're there for. They're there for people to have fun with them. So, I'm never gonna be upset. I mean, like, if we're in, like, a... If we're having, like, a serious conversation and you're spamming emotes, I might get a little upset. But, I mean, just using them in the to stream? That's what they're there for. Yeah, just like the Prince Caramel Dancing. Which I forgot I made. <laughs> I mean, hey, that's what that's what I do. That too. <laughs> I will be upset if you use the emotes to flirt with me. That is not what they're there for. 
no no one no one is allowed to flirt that is why there's a rule against it oh do not speed right off the edge prince honestly that would be funny but not what we want <laughs> the edge of toby go brr toby machine so yeah, if you want, now you can, uh, now you can, you know, hit that toe bean stamp whenever you, uh, claim your toe, whenever you claim your stamp. <laughs> like, subscribe, and smash that toe bean stamp! <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh my god. That's that's brilliant. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I need to land. I think I need to switch out some EVs. I need to switch out some Eevees. Is that a gold pun? Oh, I already have a gold pun. I don't need to switch out Eevees. Why did I think I needed to switch out Eevees? I don't know. My brain's a little messy tonight. How do I deal with auditory overstimulation? Hmm. Hmm. Alright, here comes the bonk. I don't know, I usually... I usually use auditory when I'm understimulated, and I usually put on, uh, hyper pop. Or, um, really fast-paced music. But, auditorily overstimulated? Huh. That's a great question. Ah, damn that. That Tauros. Where's this bitch? He's electric! Oh, fuck me! Alright. How am I with loud sounds not good at all? Well, I mean, like... If they're sudden loud sounds, I hate them. I hate sudden loud noises. I can kind of deal with loud stuff because I'll just turn it way, way, way down. Like, I literally, my computer is at consistently like one to 10 on the, the volume scale. <laughs> um. Yeah, like a fuck ton of noise. Uh... <laughs> yeah, I have really bad startle reflexes and loud noises, loud, sudden loud noises. D d get me like nothing. I hate them. Um, fuck ton of noise that overloads my brain. Um, I don't I actually don't think I deal with that all that much. Oh, well, that Voltorb just killed itself with the beauty of light. Beauty of light of life. Oh, the Q font's here to watch. Yeah. Yeah, no startle. That's part of the reason why I'm not great about horror games, is that so many of them employ sound-based jump scares. Like, um... Like, I can... Like, if it's every single video, gonna suck. If it's, like, one... Yeah. If it's like one or two and you have like a and they have like a warning on them, I'm okay. I can handle loud noises if I know they're coming. It's the sudden loud noises that um don't do me any favors. Yeah, yeah, with the push. Oh god. Yeah. Yeah, so like I um 
we're gonna get off on it. We're gonna, I, I know we're gonna get off on a tangent on this. I apologize in advance. Um, when I was in high school, uh, was when Markiplier released the first uh, Five Nights at Freddy's videos, him playing Five Nights at Freddy's. Um, Five Nights at Freddy's is a game that I cannot play because of the constant sudden loud noises um, and the jump scares. I, A, hate them. I, I do not like it. Um, I constantly had, uh, I like was about to kiss the feet of the people who made in the comments, like here's where all the loud noises are. Um, here's when all the jump scares are because I literally would have that open and would be like prepared and it made it less horrifying. Um, yeah, I mean, I just end up watching playthroughs of it because people's reactions are fun. And um, I mean, I watched, I, I'm the type that sometimes puts on video essays about stuff. I watched somebody's video essay about the Fred Five Nights at Freddy's timeline. And I was like, this is weird. This is interesting. Um, do I like really like anything about it? I'm meh. Yeah. Like if I had, I would I say it's, it's like a big part of the like history of horror now? Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah. Um, would I say that I personally like it? Eh. Um. I do like me some fucked up horror stories, though. I do like me some fucked up horror stories. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean... We know this. I've, I've talked about the fucked up horror stories some that I've read. Do I like SCPs? I actually kind of do. There was a there was a period of time where I was just going through and like reading the SCPs in order. Um But like I haven't done anything new. I haven't like been into the the new SCP stuff. Like I've been pretty into old old the older SCP stuffs. Uh, I believe actually Wendy Goon was the person that I saw the Five Nights at Freddy's video from. Yeah. It's just this piece of Shiranayo. What game are you talking about? Let's play figure it out. <laughs> um But yeah, I like some of the older um SCP stuff. Like, um, I don't even, I don't remember the numbers because it's been a long time since I read it, but the one that's like the giant lizard, uh, the giant like death lizard, it's one of the early ones that, um, is like boggy. It's like a bog lizard. I like that one. Um. Yeah, the unkillable reptile. I like that one. Um. What am I looking for? Playlists. Lobotomy Corporation! Thank you. <laughs> oh, it's his actual name. That's amazing. Yeah, Lobotomy Corporation. That one's basically just SCPs. I like I liked Lobotomy Corporation. I may play that again. Um, not anytime recently because like I'm not in the mood for horror at the moment. Yeah? No, I do not want to I cor and correct, I don't actually want to set up a picnic. That was a mistake. Um, uh, okay. I actually want to use my, where are my, um, there we go, my rare candies. All right, I'm gonna say no on evolving because I don't remember. I think it, I think it keeps the ability, but I don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk it. But yeah, no, I do, I do actually like a, a, a fair bit of horror stuff. Uh, no, I don't want to do the terror raid. I want to, there we go. Um, like I have read some psychological horror manga, um, 
Oh my god, that's not enough garlic. That is a, that is a horror. That is not enough garlic. Oh my god. Holy shit. Monument mythos? I actually don't know what that is. Yeah. Yeah, I actually... So most of the time, I'm the type of person who prefers to watch horror. Like, watch someone play a horror game. Because, um... That just... That's a... That's like a, a special level of... Of, um... Some of the other amnesia counts for. Um... Yeah. I actually know someone... I, by, um, by proxy, know someone, uh, who worked on, uh, who was in, uh, Everyman Hybrid, I believe is the name. Oh, I, oh, I hate that. I hate when that happens. I, I usually deal with, uh, understimulation too much, which is why I put, I, my, like, go-to thing is putting in earbuds and blasting, a uh, hyper pop until my brain starts going faster. <laughs> Um, but yeah, um, ARGs are interesting. I like ARGs as, like, a games major. I mean, I, I geek out about games quite a lot. Um, I mean, I, I went to college for four years about games. Um, you know, I kind of like talking about games. I like, I like games. Um, but... AR ARGs are really interesting to me. Um. Howie! There's so, there's so much that can be done with them, and there's so much that hasn't. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! I... So, Texas was my backup plan. Aha! I hope you had fun! Yeah. Yeah, ARGs take a lot of fucking effort. But yeah, taxes actually were my backup plan. Um, I've been, I mean, I've been working in taxes since I was like 13. I've been keeping taxes, finance stuff since I was 13. Um, but no, I really wanted to go into games. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> Have you seen the new Tears of Famous? I think is the name of the game. The new Tears of Themis? Famous? Uh, um cards? Apparently, they're femdommy. It's wild. Um. But yeah, no, I wanted to do um. Yeah. No, oh, no, it's not. But, um, so, I got my major in games, but I focused on production. Um, like, I was a producer. I produced multiple industry simulation games in my time in college. <laughs> yeah. Um. And I loved being a producer. I I loved juggling the stuff. Cause like I can juggle the stuff and be fine, but I can't juggle the stuff and then also be the one doing the stuff. Like that's just too much. Um, but <laughs> um, but <laughs> I very much enjoyed being a producer, and I literally probably applied for 50 jobs as I was graduating college and didn't get any of them. So, as I graduated college, yeah, as I graduated college with a uh, no job lined up, um, I was like, all right, well, I can do taxes. I can, I can do financial work. It's a solid field and it's never going away. So I'm like, I don't, I don't have to worry about like crazy layoffs. Yeah, uh, now I have tax cat. Yeah, exactly. Oh my god. That's crazy. Not good that you burnt the evidence. That might come back to bite you in the ass. Yeah. But yeah. 
I mean, I've been, like, my Earth mom does taxes and financial stuff, and my Earth dad was a producer, basically, for in, uh, in the executive world. So, like, this is kind of, I kind of just went into things that I kind of grew up around. Um, so, like, I, I know how to produce. I know how to do business stuff. I know how to do budgeting and all that. All that fun stuff. Um. Ah, gotcha. Understood. Good burning of the evidence. Basically, we keep everything on track. I basically, as a producer, I kept track of everything that was happening in the game, who was doing it, when they were supposed to have it done, and who that needed to go to. Basically, we made certain that everything flowed as smooth as possible. Um, also, I kept track of our deadline and how long we had until our deadline. And like, okay, if we have seven weeks. Oh, oh, here, uh, this is the, yeah, admin stuff, basically. Also, so this will probably connect more with you, Zetetica. Basically, it's like prepping a dinner. It's like prepping a multi-course dinner to have every, like, multiple item dinner um, to be ready at the same time. Yes, actually, I made quite a few Gantt charts. But yeah, it's like prepping Thanksgiving dinner to be ready all at the same time. The person who's doing all that prep and, like, making certain everything's going to be ready and, like... All right, it's, you know, 30 minutes till, so we have to start making mashed potatoes. Like, you know, fixing up the mashed potatoes. Um, that's what a producer does. I loved it. I was pretty good at it. Um, not what I thought I wanted to do when I started. When I started, I wanted to do game writing. I wanted to do narrative design. Yeah, basically. Um, I wanted to do narrative design. Um... That's what I really wanted to do. I still love narrative design. I love writing stories and doing story stuff. Um, but my first semester. Yeah. Yeah. This is like that on on like steroids, basically. Um, you basically have to be aware of everything that's going on and what it takes and how long it's going to take uh, and that. Yeah. I was good at it. I loved, because I loved being nosy and being like, all right, what are you doing? How long is this going to take? How long, like, how long do you think it will be until I can get this next person started on this stuff? And what can I have that person do while they are not able to be working on what they should be doing? Or what, you know, why they can't work on what they are going to do. Um, it was great. I loved it. <laughs> I loved it. Um, but literally, I, I didn't think I was going to be a producer when I started college. It was literally my third semester, second or no, it was my second semester, my second semester into college. So like the very end, tail end of my freshman year. Um, <laughs> um, I was doing uh, so the way that my college structured our games course was we did an introduction to games class and that was like your first class that you took in in the major and you had to take that class before you could take any other class in under the major track uh and then you did a game design for um board games so first you had to learn to design board games before you could learn to design video games um and you could also continue the board game path if you wished uh, but so I was taking my board game class and I made certain I actually was taking the class. Um, I actually made quite a few different little board games. We made uh, we made one where it was like you have to make uh, food and you had ingredient cards and you could choose to play it like normal. Like I'm actually going to like make food or you could choose to play it like gross and try to make the worst combinations ever. Um, it was I, I had a blast in college. I really honestly had a blast in college. Um, but uh, my professor actually was a TA. It was a TA uh, who ran the class. Um, and she I actually had known her outside of class because she was she as a as a uh, student herself um, helped run a class at a local college teaching game design and they talked about their college and that's how I found my college is I was like oh I want to go there now 
I want to go there. Um, but, um, so I was taking her class and everything was going great and I had a lot of fun and it was the end of, it was near the end of the semester. Um, uh, and I were, um, <laughs> yeah, um, uh, our college had industry simulation where people would pitch games to make for a semester and you would get a team and basically simulate making a game in a semester. Um, like not a full fledged game. They didn't kill us. Um, but basically you could, you would, it was trying out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, basically you would, submit a portfolio it was like trying out for a job um and so my professor teacher at the time was like hey prince have you thought <laughs> um <laughs> no but there were some people who tried some weird stuff um um but my, my, my teacher at the time was like, hey, Prince, have you thought about being a producer? Like, she had watched me. I end up taking the lead on group projects because I just am a natural leader, I guess. Um, I like telling people, here's what you need to do and here's what you need to do. And this is how we're going to get to an agreed upon conclusion. And people like just not having to think and follow along. Um... <laughs> So she was like, have you thought about becoming a producer? And I was like, no, I haven't. She's like, give it a shot. You know, you can try out for the um, uh, mock industry and, you know, you know, give it a shot. And I was like, eh, sure, why not? I have literally no experience. I may. Yeah, exactly. I was like, I have no experience. Exactly. I have no experience. I. I'm probably not going to get in, but I'll give it a shot. I, I didn't get in. I didn't get in. Um, and then over summer break, um, I, so I was pretty close to the head of the games department. Um, I really liked her and I think she kind of liked me. Um, you know, as much as a professor can like a student. Um, and like we were kind of close and we talked about stuff and um exactly i could organize everyone else but me um and so she knew that i wanted to be a producer um and i i talked to her about it and uh you know i was like hey i want to be a producer can you introduce me to someone who can like tell talk to me about producer stuff cuz there was no class for like how to be a producer so i basically had to cobble everything together myself um, but she was like, oh yeah, here's one of our, uh, grad students you can talk to. And I talked to him and he's where I got the producing is basically like putting a meal together. Um, oh my God. Well, sandwich lizard just got smacked out of the sky. Um, but so... She knew that I wanted to be a producer um, and she knew that I had applied, <laughs> applied to um, the industry simulation. Um, and eventually some stuff happened and um, the two professors who were running the industry simulation uh, had to had to leave for, I believe, family related reasons. They had to move out of state. Um, and so the head of the the head of the department stepped in is like, oh, well, okay, I, I guess I'll help. Um, yeah. And they realized that there definitely was too many. There were actually, there were not enough producers. One person was the producer and the lead programmer. And they were like, that's no, no. Um, so they were like, we need a new producer. And I got an email from my from the head of the department saying hey prince i know you wanted to be a producer there is a spot open in the um industry simulation do you want in um and i was like fuck yes bring me in take 
sub me in, coach. I'm ready. Um, and I, you know, I had a phone call with her about like what it would take, and I went and I met with everybody. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so they're like, yeah, Prince, you know what? Let's let's have you join this team. Um, I had to get special permission to be put in the class by the Bursar. They're like, I had to, I had to email be like, I have CC'd the head of the department. I have permission to join this class um, and change my schedule around and all that. Um, but it was it was a great experience and like shit went so fucking wrong with that. So much went like literally. I don't think anything that I worked on went well. In that there were always problems. Um, but, I mean, there are always problems. Yeah. Eh, I don't really know exactly what they did. Quite literally, yeah. Um, so, I mean, like, there were a lot of problems in every single project, but there are always going to be problems. No project is going to go smoothly. Um, but I had a lot of fun uh, working on the project, and I actually made friends with one of the producers. There were two projects going at the same time. Um, we were split into groups of, you know, two groups. Um, and I made friends with one of the other producers and she was like, I'm going to pitch a game for next semester to be the creative director for. Um, I would love it if you, Prince, would be my producer. And I was like, fuck yeah! I mean, we're college students. We had people who didn't do their shit. <laughs> and also people who didn't like feedback. And we had, we ended up, uh, we did have one person who, uh, in an, in protest of the fact that her code was bad, I didn't, I didn't figure this out until literally a y two years later. This was my, um, oh no, there's drama. There's some drama. I'm about to tell you the drama. There was one person, her code was bad and the lead programmer constantly had to go in and change her code. <laughs> um, and she in, um in a no this is uh yes this is the same one with the music person uh i did have someone okay you know i'll tell this person first because it's it's quicker uh we did we had someone who was in charge of music production and we're like great awesome here's what we need um he did not come to school for the first like five weeks like, he didn't come to class. We were in communication with the professors. Like, what do we do? This person just is gone. Like, we tried call. We had his phone number because they had all met up. Everyone except for me had been working on this project since summer. So I came in like halfway through. Um, oh, it gets better. Oh, it gets better. Um, uh, they, they had been like gone. Um, and so we were in contact with the professor. Like, what do we do if this person just doesn't show up? Uh, the, 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 the agreed upon conclusion was get someone else to make the music. And that someone else ended up being me. So I ended up making the music, uh, our beta music. Uh, um, cause there was nothing else we could have done. He was a, he was out we had no clue where he was we had called him emailed him texted him we had it was radio silence uh and then he showed up one day and we were like hello uh well if you're here here's what we need from you and we gave him you know the list of everything and he's like yeah i can do this no problem and we're like oh yay and then he hit us with we're like okay so we need beta quality by this date um uh, and he was like, well, I don't do beta quality. I don't do like first draft quality. I only do final draft quality. And we're like, well, that's weird. But right now we're just glad you're here. So um, we gave him all the stuff and he, you know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, he came back like a couple weeks later. This was like, no. That's right. This was all before beta. Yeah. So he came back a couple weeks later. Beta was in like a one week. Like we had one week before we had to um, present this pretty much 
to the professors as like, here's what we have so far, like feature complete. Now we're just polishing. Um, and uh, he gave us the music and I was like, OK, cool. I can listen to this. Um, <laughs> yeah. So uh, I popped it in. I listened to it. Our game took place on a mountain understand a game took place on a mountain this music sounded like it was in the fucking belly of a whale i literally was laughing i pulled back like we met we had class on like tuesdays or something and we also met every friday to work uh and so this was friday most of my fridays just ended up being like i'm hanging with i'm hanging out with everybody um making sure everybody's like you know i'm on the same page with everybody i wasn't i was working but not the way you would think um so I was listening to the music. I had to pull back and laugh, uh, showed it to everybody else. Um, we're like, yeah, no shit. We can't use this. So then we get to the sound effects. The sound effects that he made, I listened to because I had gathered. I have no idea. He said he made all these sound effects. I was like, that's fucking amazing that you made sound effects. Um, I had gathered free, like royalty free sound effects. <sighs> I cannot say for certain. I cannot say for certain because I was not able to tell 100%, but I had a very bad feeling that these were just royalty free sound effects that he claimed were his own. So I brought this fear up to the professors. I said, I, I have no proof, but being the one who's been doing the sound design for this game, more or less, this is what I fear is happening. Uh, and they were like, okay, uh, because we had to credit everything that we used. Uh, they were like, okay, use the, cause I, you know, kept track of all my sources. They're like, okay, use the ones that you have. Um, don't use ones that you're afraid might be plagiarized. Exactly. Uh, and then we, we were like, we can't use this copy of the music. And he was fucking gone. <laughs> we never heard from him again. <laughs> So I, I was like, we were like, shit, what can we do for music? And I was like, I have GarageBand on my laptop. I can make us up some possibly not great, but like passable music. Uh, and that's what we did. And that was the music at the end of the game was, was me. <laughs> was my, was my messing around in GarageBand going, this sounds all right. <laughs> I am not a music producer. I don't write my own music. It's hard enough. Um, so that was that. Um, so that was, that was, that was problem A. <laughs> yeah. Um, problem B was, a uh, said person who had been doing programming for our final boss. Um, <laughs> yeah. Her programming was bad. It was consistently getting, uh, corrected and changed by the, uh, lead programmer so that it would mesh with everybody else's. This is what I heard from the lead programmer. Um, she did not finish the final boss. This was our, like, piece de resistance. Everybody... <laughs> oh, thank you. Everybody was so looking forward to that boss. Our animation and modeling people had worked their asses off to make this boss. It had to be cut because it was not finished. It was not even working. There was a, uh, it was supposed to spawn a rock. Um, and it just spawned rocks until the computer, until the program crashed. Um, like, it was a laugh until we realized that that was as far as that it, it had gotten. And then it was not a laughing matter as we were like, shit, we have to cut this. Like, we can't add any more... We can't add any more things. We were at beta, which is feature complete. You can't add things. You can only take away. And so we had to take away our final boss. And it was a really sad day. Uh, and then two years later, this was during my, no, like a year and a half later. <laughs> uh, no, I didn't cry, but, um, <laughs> yeah, memory leak attack. <laughs> uh, but I, I know that the, the animator and the modeler were really upset. They had put so much work into this and it literally went nowhere. Um, uh, 
but I found out a year or so later. I don't even remember how I found out, uh, but I found out that she had deliberately not worked on it. She was like, well, none of my stuff is good enough, so I'm just not going to do it. Uh, so I was like, that's a bitch ass move. That, like, that's a stupid move. Um, so yeah, I was not a very big fan of her. Yeah. I don't know. But yeah, those were the two big pieces of tea. On that project. But I made friends with the producer of the other project. Um. And, um. She was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pitch my game for next semester. Do you wanna, you know, be my producer if we get in? And I was like, absolutely. Uh, because as a creative director, they basically kind of can say, hey, I want this person if they apply. Or I know this person applied, please put this person on my team. And it like gets really taken into consideration. Um, so that game went in and it was great. I had a lot of fun. I mean, there were problems with it, too. There were problems that came up. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but this was Ego. This was Ego's. Um. So, helped with that. It was a lot of fun. Uh, and then I got tapped for a... Uh, another project... That was actually for grad students, but um, they needed a producer. Yeah, they were they, they needed a producer, and so they were like, "Hey, Prince, do you want to work on this project with the grad students?" And I was like, "Oh, fuck yeah, I do." Um, and that project was really interesting, and I'm really upset that it actually didn't end up going anywhere. It was supposed to go somewhere. It was supposed to go to, to do a big thing. Yeah, I was like really, I was really pumped to work on this. Um, and then it didn't go anywhere. And I was really upset because we worked really hard on it. I I literally recorded voice acting for that for that game. I mean it was a story, it was read a story, but like I I recorded. I recorded for quite a few hours. Um not really, no. Just that it was a big project that I'm upset didn't go places. Um. I don't think it ever actually also became public knowledge, so. No, just, uh. Not best to talk about it. Um, but. Um, yeah, after that, so I did that as a, like, special... Yeah, it's all good. Um... That was, like, a special self, like, study class. Like, I, once again, had to get permission. <laughs> Be like, hey, I have permission from the department head to do this. Uh, and then, after that, sadly... Yeah, exactly. Uh, after that, sadly, I couldn't do any more of the industry simulation. Yeah. Well, also, they wanted stuff that we couldn't do. As, like, we're, like, we're college students. We don't know how to program that. Like, they wanted, uh... <laughs> they wanted vocal recognition and be able to respond to that vocal recognition. And I was like, there's no way we can do that. That's not... I don't even know if that's possible. I was like, we definitely can't do that. Um. So. I mean. Well, yeah, I got to. I got to really use my deep voice for that recording. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it was. I mean, I had fun. I had fun doing everything, no matter whether it went anywhere or not. Um, 
I actually think I lost all of those. I currently, all those files are lost. Um, until I either figure out... Yeah. And this was, like, over four years ago. Um, but I... That computer's... Um... That computer's hard drive got half corrupted. Um, so I would actually have to send it off for... I would A, have to find it again. Yeah. Uh, and B, I would have to pay for it to be reconstructed, more or less. Um, which... I have two of those that need to be worked on, but I basically lost all those files currently. Um, but yeah. I mean, that's something I would love to do. Something I would love to get is to send that off and be like, can you get anything from this? But, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's also a Mac hard drive, so I had to send it to a special. I would have to send it to a special place, and I don't know if they could even get anything from it. And I don't know if reconstruction means they have to look through files. If they have to look through files, then no thank you. <laughs> no thank you. Those will stay lost to time. Um... If they actually, like, don't look at files, then I may consider it again, but we'll see. You know embarrassing shit that college friends had? Yeah. I'm also just, like, a very private person about some things, and, like, I really don't like people looking into my shit. Um, I really value my space and my privacy and my, you know, personal information. I'm not oh, I'm not ashamed of him. He he deserves the biggest hug. For shit. <laughs> yeah, more like that. More like, Prince, what is this? And I'm like, don't worry about it. But yeah. College? I had a lot of fun in college. Oh. Excuse me. Excuse me. Well, no, I actually did have really organized folders for all of my, um, all of my homework stuff that was actually, like, homework. Anything that was not safe for work in nature was hidden behind, like, four different folders. Um. But yeah, I mean, like, there's writing and stuff, like, personal writings and, like, diary-esque things and, like, that kind of stuff that, like, I wouldn't want somebody just looking at. I mean, college was great, but I also had a really rough time. No, I didn't know how to do that at that time, which seems really silly, but I didn't know how to do that. Also, the only person ever really on my fold, my computer was me. It was completely like my personal computer. Oh, thank you. Um, so I didn't have to worry about anybody else, but um, it was always like I was just, as I said, I very much value my privacy and stuff. Oh, did it? I hope I didn't. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, hello. Hello, hello, hi. Can you can you hear me? Okay, we're back. What the fuck was that? Eh? Are they? 
We're still streaming. Uh, I'm trying to hit no emote. No emote only. Bad, bad I'll tell me I'll tell him. <laughs> okay, we should be okay now. What the fuck happened? I'm literally etherneted, ethernet corded in to my router. I have no idea what actually just happened. That's wild. Um. Well. Uh. You know, entirely possible. It may, it might have. Are there, are there storms tonight? There might be storms tonight. We should be back. We should be back. Uh, are there storms tonight? Uh, there's storms at like three in the morning. I'm definitely still here. <laughs> all good, all good, all good. Um. But yeah, well, that's weird. I mean, you guys are gonna get this. I didn't say it, like, nothing important really happened. Um, when I, you know, sp split, fished out. Yeah, <laughs> and we're back. I mean, worst comes to worst, you guys can see it on the VOD. All I did was kind of sit there and go, that's weird. <laughs> I actually don't even think I said anything. I think I was very quiet as I was just trying to reconnect. <laughs> but yeah, that is, uh, that is extremely weird. That's never happened before, but, uh, I'm glad it fixed itself. But yeah, uh, I don't even remember what we talked about. Uh, I am completely thrown from that. I mean, completely thrown as much as I can, can be. Oh, yeah. I like, I loved college. Did not have a password protected born holder. It was not password protected. It was just hidden behind multiple other folders. And org <laughs> and organized. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I didn't share my computer. I mean, I did connect my computer as I was the person who had Jackbox uh, whenever we had uh, game nights as a as like a me and my the group of people that I hung out with the, uh, in our student organization. I was the one whose computer was put up on the TV because <laughs> I was also the one who carried around my laptop everywhere. Um, but uh, so yeah, I mean, like, I just, I, I, it wasn't a, a easy place to find it. They did, they did, which was, um, <laughs> there were two, two Prince College era wallpapers. There were two Prince College era wallpapers. Uh, one was one that I made in Photoshop class and it was a, oh, you're sorry, you're good. I got it. It just didn't come. It just didn't catch in my brain to like acknowledge it. <laughs> um, one was yeah. So I made one of my uh, backgrounds in my Photoshop class, and it was uh, Fire Emblem Fates and like crystals and lace. Um, so it was Kamui. It was my Kamui. So my personal uh, edit like version of Kamui. And, um, and crystals and lace and fun stuff. Uh, and then the other college era prints wallpaper was, um, now you guys can't laugh at me when I say this. It was, um, I don't know if you guys have watched Soul Eater, but there is one scene where, uh, early, I think it's kind of early in. Uh, no, actually, I had... I, so I was a big part of the Fire Emblem community back in college. Um, like, a 
big part of the Fire Emblem community in college. And they had basically, uh, someone had made like a sprite creator um, where you could make sprites for um, the custom main characters. Yeah, I don't think it still exists, um, but I used it and I made it. Um, there was also one for like making fake uh, support logs. That was fun. That was fun. I had a lot of fun with that. Uh, but yes. Um, but yes. Uh, second Prince College Era wallpaper. There is a scene in Soul Eater, uh, pretty a little early in, where uh, it's at a fancy ball. Gay Fates mod? Yes! I do! I do know about the Gay Fates mod. It's been quite a few years since I've heard about it. I used to read the support logs for that. I don't know. I I don't think they ever actually finished it. But like, it was a great idea. They're still making it? Zetetica, you need to send me that via Discord. You need to send me that via Discord. <laughs> um. Yes, yeah, someone was making uh, gay support logs for every possible gay pairing in Fire Emblem Fates. It was great. Uh, or I guess they are making it. Still making it. Uh, but yes, okay. I get it. Just, okay. Um. Yep. Yep. There were two bisexuals in Fire Emblem Fates. And that was not enough. <laughs> uh, but yes, so there's a scene in Soul Eater in a bit earlier, a bit early in the series, I believe, where they're at like a fancy ball uh, and Stein is dancing with Medusa. Uh, and there's a scene where they're both like, they're dancing and they're both silhouettes and they're like grinning. And it's like kind of a creepy, like crazy grin because they're both creepy, crazy characters. Um, but I, in my self-shipping uh, brain, immediately looked at that. That was like, I can easily edit that. I can edit that. I have the power. I have Click Studio Paint and Photoshop. Um, so I, in my beautiful unending wisdom, uh, edited the screenshot. Um, <laughs> I edited the screenshot and made it so uh, it was a me silhouette dancing with Stein. And that was my second. <laughs> Um, and that was the second Prince Era, uh, wallpaper, and it is still the current wallpaper of that laptop. Uh, no, like, my self-insert into, uh, the Soul Eater universe. So I drew quite a lot, because that apartment for one winter had no internet at all. I lost my internet for an entire winter and it wasn't school season, so they just weren't really bothered about fixing it. Um, so I uh, had a lot of time of just drawing. Yeah, drawing and um, watching anime. Oh yeah, no, that apartment was, uh, that apartment also had mold. That's the, that's my college, my college apartment had mold. Like, that college apartment was good, and then it wasn't. Um, also, it was literally... The, my landlords were the college. The college owned the... Um, the college owned the uh, apartment complexes, and they rented them out to students. So... No, the ceiling didn't fall in on me, thankfully. I was top floor. I did have to climb three flights of stairs every day as a disabled person. That wasn't fun. So three miles of three miles of walking and then three flights of stairs. Because it was a third floor apartment. Um, but yes. Uh that Stein that edited Stein uh screenshot actually is still the current uh is still the current background of that laptop. 
And that laptop is still working. Not well at, at all, but it still works. Um, that's Old Faithful. Oh no, my, my school's disability um, section sucked ass. Oh, shiny Psyduck! What the fuck? What? A literal wild shiny before my Eevee? <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. That's fucking hilarious. We got a shiny. Not the one I wanted. <laughs> oh my god. And it's got great stats. Who the fuck knew? <gasps> Wild. Wild. <laughs> yeah. Um but Yeah, no, my my uh my college's disability department was horrible. They lost my paperwork as a as a as a freshman. I just I wanted to get my no, I don't work tomorrow. I wanted to get Kiki as an emotional service cat so I could have her in the dorms with me, which ended up not working anyway. But um they lost my paperwork. Which sucked. And then there was no accommodations that I could really get that were going to help. Because... Yeah. I mean, I got her in the apartment. So... Yeah, she didn't like it at all. <laughs> yeah. Um... But... There, yeah, there also were no accommodations that would really help me as I didn't need special testing accommodations or like extra time on assignments really. So they were like, there's nothing we can do for you. And I was like, yay. Um, as well, um, my friend who actually like did need some special um, stuff, uh, she got it. She had to prove that she was disabled every semester. It was annoying. Um, like, yeah. That sounds nice. Oh my god. Oh, I hit my mic. Once again. Uh, run. Oh. Wait, do I have a baby Eevee in here? I think I have a baby Eevee. See, okay, there were uh, cars. There were little cars that you could sometimes get in that would go around campus. You just had to know which... Oh. You just had to know which car went where. So, like, it wasn't... I mean, I didn't get them all the time. They... But, like, I wasn't completely stranded. I got them a couple times every so often. <laughs> a bit. Except I don't think I ever actually really talked to them because I knew where the where they were going, and so I just got on them every so often. I didn't do it very often. Because most of the time they didn't go near my my uh, department's building, but they're like they could take me from my apartment. They went to near the apartment, so they could <laughs> Yeah, that was a very quiet cripple cat. Um Oh my goodness. How many more Eevees do we have? I am getting tired. <laughs> How many more Eevees do we have? Oh my god, almost a whole other box! Oh my god. Yeah. I don't know. It feels like 
It was? Oh, I don't remember. <laughs> I mean, I think four hours might be enough. Four hours might be enough. We might end up accidentally going into tomorrow. Or I might end up calling it and be like, okay, enough. Maybe we'll do this more later. Ugh. Yeah. Brained applesauce. Yeah. I mean, this stream has turned into Pritz talks about stuff. Once again, these streams just turn into chatting. Which, again, I have no problem with. Um. Yeah, it's fun. It's it's nice to be able to talk, just talk with you guys. Um. Even if I lose my train of thought. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think I'm gonna sneeze. Ah, uh, yeah. You know what? Oh god, I feel you. At 11.30, I'm probably gonna call it. Cause, um, I am sleepy, and this week has been just, like, horribly boring at work. So, I haven't been sleeping very much. Actually, no, this week has been a little rough, now that I think about it. Ugh. That's right, that was all this week. I feel like it was like months ago. Oh my god. I was like, when did that- Oh, that was- That was Wednesday. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, Kiki scared me. I was a little worried about this Quika. Yeah. She Wednesday was I came home and she greeted me out the door, which isn't unusual. Uh, and then she went meow, and I was like, "Hi, hey, baby." And, you know, I was doing my thing, and I put out her treaties for her. I gave her some treaties, and usually she immediately eats them, and she didn't even touch them. She didn't even sniff them, and I was like. That's not right. Um, and then um, I got into my bedroom, getting ready to like settle in for the day, and she had vomited on my bed again. This was now the second time in three days that she had vomited on my bed. And I was like, that's not right. Um, um, and so I was you know, looking at her, keeping track. I was like, are you okay? Um, and then I got to the bathroom and um, the bathroom was just covered in vomit. I think she had a really upset tummy. Um, and I was like, well, that is not good. Um, so I cleaned it all up. Um, like, full cleanup. Like, I paper towels, mopped the floor, um, and she was extremely subdued and didn't come cuddle. And I was like, you're not feeling good at all. So I was, like, really worried about her, and I kept my eye on her. I mean, she's, like, 16. But she's old. So, hi, baby girl. But, like, she has a multi-pack of, like, I get her a multi-pack of cat food, so she doesn't have to eat the same thing all the time. Uh, and it had now, it had been three days on this one, and I was like... Yeah, she'll blow me. I was like, okay, this one isn't, this one's upsetting her tummy. This one's upsetting her tummy. Um, so... I was keeping an eye on her, and she was doing a bit better a few hours later. Um, like she was getting up and walking around more, um, except she got around, she got up and just like sat under a chair and I was like, are you okay, baby? Um, yeah, I mean like I prepped my earth dad. I was like, look, I may need to take her to the vet. I don't want to. Um, she doesn't like the vet. Uh, now she is, yes. Uh, but after like, by like nine, ten o'clock at night, she was acting much more energetic. Uh, she actually ate her treats. 
and ate all of them. Like, came back to lick the crumbs, and I was like, okay, you're feeling better. Um, I cleaned off her plate, threw away all the food that was still on it, of the old, of the, of the canned food, and I was like, I'm gonna put you some kibble on your plate. Um, like, because I know, as long as I don't give you too much kibble, kibble's fine with your stomach. Um, and so she's been, for the past couple days, she's been eating her kibble, um, she's been cuddly, she's been meow meow at me, she's been back to, back to normal. So I think it was just, like, a really bad upset tummy, um, but it definitely, yeah. She, she definitely gave me a, gave me a fright. <laughs> oh, oh, head pats. No, come back, head pats. Um... Yeah. I don't know, because she's... She's not really picky, but she, like, she definitely has her favorites. So, I was like... Maybe what's up? Um, but yeah. Yeah, usually... Oh, excuse me. Usually it's been hits. Usually she likes it. Uh, but then again, I... You, she likes... She's a seafood gal, and I just get her seafood stuff. Um, um, but... Yeah? Man, Kiki's not that picky, thankfully. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, she probably needs a checkup soon, but... That will... <laughs> yeah, then I guess Kiki is just a very good girl about eating. Look, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Hey, baby. Oh, sweet girl. You want to say hi to everybody? Yeah. Oh my god. My Earth Parents dog is a silly little thing. Oh my god, he is spoiled rotten. Um and it's kinda cute. Uh he's an adopted he's an adoption. Uh and he was actually pretty well trained, all things considered. Um and he, so he, he knows how to beg. Like he was taught like, you know, get up on two legs and, and beg. Yep, oh yeah, all the time. He's there every single day. I get picked up on my Earth Dad and he's in the back seat. And I'm like, hi, puppy. And I get cuddles and, cuddles and stuff when he comes over. Um. He's not allowed at my house. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, he's a well-trained boy. It's really cute, though. And he, he, like, he doesn't beg it appropriately. He doesn't beg at the table. Which is wild. <laughs> yeah, no, he doesn't know how to open doors. Um. But he's actually, a, like, a really well-behaved dog. Like, really well behaved. Um, he's also an old man and a, a, you know, a gentle puppy. Um. Oh my god. Well, our, this dog is, is small. He's a small white dog. He's a little white dog. He does not know how to open doors. He couldn't reach him. Um. But he will lay there if, uh, he loves belly rubs. And if you are petting his belly, and you stop the belly rubs, and he is not ready for you to stop the belly rubs, um, he will lay there and beg. Like, on his side, he'll lay and just beg. Like, more belly rubs. Give me more belly rubs. Um. Quick head pass. He's a silly little guy. He's a very silly little guy. I like him. Like, I'm not a huge dog person, TBH. Like, dogs are fine. Uh, I would not 
like want one in my life. Yeah. Like if I like I would not want a dog as a pet myself simply because probably not the best as someone who who does not like really going outside. Um Oh my god. That's insane. Uh but yeah, Kiki. Kiki I like cats. Kiki is a good kitty. Um They really are. <laughs> like, like, I like dogs. I do. Like, they're fun. Um, I would not be a good parent to a dog. So therefore, I uh, will not be getting myself a dog. <laughs> I've done it from, like, puppy. Puppy forward. My childhood dogs we got when they were puppies. So I've done puppyhood all the way up through senior adult dog. Not for, not really for me. Exactly, yeah. yeah. He's not a big play dog, but like he does like a ball every so often. He'll go chase it. And sometimes he'll bring it back. Oh my God. Eevees. So many Eevees. <sighs> but yeah, whenever I go over to my parents' house, um, I get to play with the dog and I get to play with their cats, which is great. Um, I also get to cuddle the dog at work. He likes being held. Oh my god, he is such a love attention. Yeah. He is a attention sponge. Oh my god. Oh god, that's a Pokemon. I didn't see that. She's never met him, and I don't think she would. She very much needs to be, like, the queen. And, like, the, the dog is really, is like, a respectful dog. Like, he doesn't, he's not, like, the jump in, jump in front of someone, like, get all up in their face type of dog. But Kiki is just, like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't meet them. I wouldn't put them together. Like, she's, she's been around dogs before. I know she's not, like, bad around them, but... She's an old lady, and I wouldn't want to stress her out at all. Oh, she's a diva. Oh, she's a diva. She is the queen of the castle. Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I would want someone sniffing my butt. I'd be like, what the hell? Um, but yeah, when we when we first met the dog, like when we were getting to getting to know him, um, before like okay, we got to know him and adopted him the exact same day, uh, which was wild. We weren't expecting to get to adopt him that day, um, but. Um, he was, he was like really cute and my, my dad, my earth dad was immediately smitten and my earth mom was like, yeah, no, he's really, really cute. Uh, and then he, he went and, uh, went into my mom's like room. He went, he went and fetched one of my mom's slippers and brought it to her. And my mom was like, all right, no, he's ours. Oh my God. Yeah, this dog's not big enough uh, for that. Uh, he's never done it since. Here's the thing. He's never done it since. He did it once. And he, he, he doesn't do it. 
I think Zedinica was talking about the getting the slipper, not the jumping up and hitting you in the nuts. <laughs> Come on, Eevees. Oh wait, I do not want to be in a cave. That's like bad news bears. There we go. That's what I want. I want to just fly around. Oh my god, it's 11.30. We are nowhere near done. Yeah. Yeah, we are nowhere near done. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I knew I could stream a little late tonight, which is why I was like, yeah, we can do this. Um, but, holy moly. Uh, I have no idea what I'm going to stream tomorrow. It may be, um, it may be Pokemon, it may be, uh, Pokemon Fusion. We may continue with the Pokemon. Um, I have no idea. Uh, we're making good progress on Paradigm Paradox. Uh, we are, um, how many Eevees has it been? We'll count. We'll count. Too many. Too fucking many. It's gonna end up probably being a shiny Eevee part three. Oh my god. That's too many Eevees. That's too many Eevees. Which means it's probably gonna be another like few weeks to maybe a month before uh before we have that stream because I'm gonna have to build up the egg stores again. And trade all these goddamn Eevees. Oh my god. There's so many of them. But yes, we're making good, good, uh, good progress on Paradigm Paradox. I am excited because I believe next, next we will be doing um, the final hero, which means we'll have, we will hit, or no, wait, next stream we're doing more Tokyo. Uh, I'm doing Wonder Trade. Simply so that I can, uh, oof, ugh. Uh, I'm doing Wonder Trade so that I can fill out my Pokedex, too. Yeah. Yeah, I want to do all the heroes and then all the villains. Um, which we'll do first of the villains? I don't know. Um, but uh, we got to finish Tokyo's route, but we're super fucking close to doing that. Actually, like, shockingly close to finishing Tokyo's route. Like, I think we're, like, two things away from being done. Uh, I was really shocked how far we got last stream. Yes. Yep, Coyote. Yep, Coyote's route. We have another Kent character, basically. We have another This Boy is Autistic. <laughs> Just her face. <laughs> um, but... Um... <laughs> no! Not a breeding fetish, just the autism. <laughs> just the autism. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, we filled up this box. So. Uh, that's 60... 61? Yeah. Two, three, four, five, six. Wait. 78! We went through 78 eggs. This is 18. These three, and then we have two boxes of six. The 30. Yeah. He's the, uh, people's emotions are weird. I don't understand them. I like science. Yeah, childhood best friend. Genius researcher. Nope, not even half. Wait, how many EVs do we have left? One. No, more 
in half. Wait, 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 wait. There's a whole other box. 18. Wait, one, two, three. That's 90. 108 EDs. Four, four, what? One box. Two box, three box, four box. What? Four boxes of EVs, so that's four times 30 plus 18. We, we hatched 138 EVs today. Holy shit. 138 EVs today. They are multiplying. <laughs> all right. However, that is all the time I ever have for tonight. I have to go to bed. Uh, and uh, we will have to do more later. So uh, let me pop over here. Thank you, everybody, so much for being here with me. I really appreciate it as we hatched eggs and talked about everything under the fucking sun, basically. <laughs> you guys learned more about my disabilities. <laughs> And, uh, all that fun, 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 fun stuff. Um. Aw, you guys, it's, well, you guys are welcome. I, you're welcome. I bumped my microphone again. Um, I mean, you guys were so, so kind to me during the subathon. The least I can do is put effort into these streams. <laughs> all right, well, oh, I hope you all have a wonderful meowing. Afternoon, evening, whatever time it is for you, uh, I will. Yeah, <laughs> it was just pr it was just Prince. Uh, Prince rambles the stream. <laughs> yeah, but I'll and I'll announce what we're doing tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> All right. Well, without any further ado, night night.